Hello and welcome to the Paizo Twitch channel. Um, we are members of Find the Path and Far Beyond the Stars podcast oh, here yeah. raising money for Jasper's Game Day. So uh, I'm your GM today. I'm Jessica Jenkins and I am joined by Heidi. You want to tell us a little bit about you? Uh, yeah, so I'm on the spot, I guess, first off. Uh, name's Heidi Owens, she, her pronouns. Um, I'm from the Far Beyond the Stars podcast uh, over on the Fantastic Worlds Network. Um, we have a lot of great shows out there. Uh, it's tons of fun. Um, I'm super excited to join up with uh, Jess, Jordan, Rick, and Rachel today for this. So, All right, pass it over to Jordan. Happy to have you. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm Jordan Jenkins. Uh, definitely related by marriage to Jess. Uh, so I'm part of Find the Path. Um, and we have a number of different podcasts. We do some Twitch streaming, um, you know, Discord, all this great stuff. Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Wiz Jenkins. All right. Rachel. Uh, I am uh, Rachel Sandage, though everybody calls me Rach. Uh, I am uh, Rick's other half. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much me. <laughs> and last but not least, Rick. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Rick Sandage. I am the usual hosting game master for the Find the Path podcast, actual play of the Mummy's Mask, Tyrant's Grasp, and Hills Rebels of Interpaths. You have been usurped. Yeah, I stole the throne. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm so on vacation, here. if you can't tell. True, vacation. <laughs> Today we are oh, raising my. money to prevent suicide. It's suicide prevention. So there's a lot of ways that you can donate. Um, I believe that there's a link on the screen for the Tiltify um, service. And if you donate, you can actually request things from us in the game. You can give, uh, what does Jason Bullman call them? Villain points to me. You can give hero points to the players. You can uh, give them helpful items. You can let them add a D4 to their roles. Lots of different options um, for donations today. And then of course you can always just donate because it's a great cause. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we, we said to, is that a good reason? <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. Because we're also probably going to need it. <laughs> yes, they will need it. I, I, well, sure. They'll definitely need it. I know. Um, my luck. <laughs> so I guess we'll go ahead and get started. So our adventure begins on a small island in the most, most Southern tip of the wandering isles of Minata in Tianja. I have a little map here for y'all. Just, you know. It wouldn't be find the path if it didn't have unnecessary but really cool lore. So here's where yep. we are. Uh, da -da. So you're in this kind of southwestern portion on all these little islands. Uh, this island in particular, or this region, is called Renda Pulu, which is known for demon worship, cannibalism, and other atrocities. It is such <laughs> a terrifying move? place that <laughs> even the pirates who call Minata home avoid this area. Hmm. Uh, none of you have seen any of these things. You spent your last couple of months here with Inda, your mentor. Uh, she's this lovely lady in this little picture frame on our landing page here. She's mm -hmm. adorable. She's adorable. She is an Anugobu wondercrafter. Um, you know her mm -hmm. as a small woman. Uh, not as small as some of you, of course. We'll get to that in a second. She stands about two feet tall, wispy white hair, big eyes. Her skin is kind of a woody brown. Um, but she's always, you know, pleasant. She has laugh lines, the whole benevolent, fun uh, mentor kind of vibe. And while you haven't really gone outside of her demiplane workshop, which is where you all are now, you know, she spent most of her time recently consumed with repairing an ancient clock tower somewhere on this <laughs> island. You spent so many hours making gears and knobs and all sorts of doodads or at least helping carry parts to, or prepare meals or keep people company while they did the making. So that is where you are now in a crowded, lively workshop full of other poppets just like you. So let's do a little bit of character introduction. Let's start with Heidi. I'm going in this order that's on our landing page, if you haven't guessed. <laughs> <laughs> I see. That's why I'm for on the point. Yes. So go ahead. Uh, Tell Han us a little bit about you. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm playing Hanalore, um, Hanalore Higgins. Uh, she is a um, 
Poppet, obviously. Everyone, I think we're all Poppets. All Poppets. Uh, Everybody loves Poppets. She's uh, she she's pop a toy Poppet, which means that she is smaller than most of the rest of the Poppets. Uh, meant to be sort of an action figure um, made up to look like an Alkenstar Scout. Uh, complete with uh, with her very own Harmona gun. She is a gunslinger and uh, a gambler. A bit of a bit likes to likes to spend whatever coin she can, uh, you know, on cards and dice and games of chance. Really, really small cards. Yes, tiny. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> you know, if you, if you've ever seen the world's smallest uh, Magic the Gathering cards, <laughs> they are about two inches by one inch. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So, just like that. All right. And uh, what would Hanalor be doing in the workshop? Um, I imagine that like she's pretty dexterous and kind of strong. So despite her not not terribly intelligent or very wise, so not going to be making any big decisions. Mostly just grunt labor. <laughs> All right. So she's helping carry stuff around. Yeah. All right, Jordan, tell us a little bit about your character. Okay, so I am playing TikTok, and uh, TikTok is a tiny scale replica of a clockwork soldier. So he, instead of being made out of like iron, he's made out of like tin, and he actually has like actual wind up parts. So he's a he's a wind up uh, poppet, and uh, he is an inventor. So TikTok likes to go around and just make things. Uh, he carries uh, what he calls his. Uh, great axe but it's really like just like a little tiny wrench that's been like modified by him to have like <laughs> you know a little bit of a sharper edge and like you know some other things that we'll get into um but as an inventor he uh he would definitely be sitting around like maybe milling out parts or you know trying to uh you know sketch out a new design that might help in some aspect of the repairs or something like that I i'm assuming there's no uh connection to tiktok from return to oz there's definitely no connection to TikTok from Return to Oz. Any and all <laughs> comparisons reference. are completely <laughs> accidental. Is Return to Oz 90s? Okay, no, we don't have time. We can't go. No, there. we do no. not have time. I could probably Google it in a second. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rachel, tell us a little bit about your character. It's 1985, by the way. Hmm. Um, <laughs> um, so my character is uh, Piper Chubbles. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, if anybody knows what a Chubbles is, you will understand the reference. Uh, but Piper is a little barbarian who um, basically spends most of her time in the lab just kind of acting as protector. Like she'll do kind of the grunt work uh, too, but most of the time she's just the one making sure, you know, everything's safe, everything's good. Like we're, we're okay. You can keep Oh, so she's like the do. health inspector or whatever, <laughs> the OSHA enforcement agent. Um, kind of. It's more like she's protecting Inda. Like ah, it's okay. all about protecting Inda. Like, so she, as long as she's cool, everything else is fine. <laughs> cool. All right. And Rick, tell us a little bit about your character. Yep. So I am playing Magni. Magni is a, uh, basically a stone dwarven statue because I can't avoid dwarves for any of these live shows, uh, <laughs> brought to life through a child's wish. Uh, he wears a big floppy hat. So think kind of like a lawn gnome if lawn gnomes were dwarves. Uh, so big, broad shouldered, uh, he is uh, mostly made of stone and, in fact, has been uh, rather well reinforced to the point that he no longer suffers the uh, the fire penalties that everyone else does. And so he handles uh, hot objects and such. Okay. He is also much like his uh, his his dwarven appearance, uh, very strong and capable of carrying loads and loads of very heavy items between his uh, hefty hauler and I believe he has a belt that helps him lift. I things. have a lifting belt. Lifting belt. So... Yep. Excellent. All right. So uh, it's a typical day. Um, you've been hard at work for a little while now. Uh, it's still morning. Uh, and what's strange is Ender is not here in the workshop. Well, her not being here isn't that strange. Um, she's always out working in this tower, finding materials. But what's making it strange for you is that you also know that she wasn't home last night. In fact, you think it's been almost two whole days since you've seen her which is both strange and alarming, especially for Piper. Yep. She's having what a connection. Mm. Well, I suppose, uh, uh, I guess Mag Magni will, uh, upon noting this, probably noting Piper's distress, you know, 
make his way over, give a nice, stony, reassuring pat on her tiny back. It squishes down very easily because, I mean, Piper's nothing but fluff. Yeah, we're basically polar opposites. You're you're nothing but fluff and snuggles, and I'm a stone statue. Except for I'm a barbarian. I'm like a barbarian squishable. That's you're a I barbarian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have oh a barbarian gosh. stuffed I, animal. You're basically. I love that you're like a barbarian Kirby. Like you're just like yeah. just absorb anything that's done. Let's to be you. honest. Kirby was probably a barbarian. Have you oh seen him whoop up? I love yeah. it. Yeah, He's a murderous psychopath is what he is. Um. But no, but Magni pats you on the back. You look in distress, little one. She's gone. Of course I'm in distress. She's gone. Oh, yeah, TikTok sure finishes his designs and like comes walking over. What if we went and checked on her? Do we know where she has gone? Not necessarily. But you know that she's not in the workshop, so you'd have to leave the workshop and then maybe look around. So we'd have to leave the workshop. Oh, yes. Well, then let's go. Why are we waiting? We need to find Enda. Ah, don't be hasty. Are we allowed to leave the workshop or have we been given like orders not to? She usually just has you stay here to stay safe, but she's never like explicitly banned you from leaving. We should check and see if any of the others have any ideas. Okay. Suppose TikTok moseys over. Yeah. Handler, Handler also. Messing. Oh, yes. Come, come. Handler also walks up. What's up? Hello? I TikTok. <laughs> I'm out of things to do. <laughs> I need help. Where's Inda? As, as he says this, like seen? his little head is like bobbling. Like there's a little like uh, like Canada in the South Park because he's like just rattling around. The sound's just rattling <laughs> around in his head. <laughs> and Alor, have you seen uh, Inda? Um, yeah, I can't say I have. Um... Yeah, but I don't know about leaving. I don't know about leaving the workshop. Last time I did, it was it did not go well. Um, it was pretty bad uh, until Linda found me. I was so glad she found me. That mischievous imp. It was just anyway. I don't want to talk about that. Um, but I I don't know. It she's not in here. What are we gonna do without her? Exactly. So we have to go find her. True. Uh, I agree. I mean, if we're all together, it should be fine, right? It's true. We can make a support network of friends. Okay. Relying on the power of friendship, I guess. <laughs> all right. So I'm assuming you're leaving the workshop. It sounds like everyone's we, on board. We all get our various supplies, I imagine. All right. Yeah. Handelor, TikTok, I believe, mechanically speaking, your tiny size. TikTok, are you tiny? Because wind ups are small. I am small. Oh, you're small. Yep. Right. I'm Mandalore. like the biggest sub around here, I think. <laughs> uh, I am small sized and oh, I have a great okay. sword. I'm like oh. I'm like Cloud with like the, the giant sword, <laughs> the you know? Large sword, yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, are Black you a Cloud giant guys. instinct? Oh, love that. <laughs> I don't think you're giant instinct. What instinct I, were you? I'm not. Oh gosh. I always forget where things I think it are. might just be fury. <laughs> You're just mad. Fury. You're just mad at Just things. an angry little squishable. That's what I am. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right so Handel, I guess... yeah, I'll just pat I... on my shoulder and let Handelor hop up because I don't know how tiny creatures writing small size creatures works, but I think it is. But Handelor has <laughs> a fluffy yeah. dog who comes bounding oh. around the corner. Yeah. And it's <laughs> like, um, you remember way back in the 90s, I mean 90s reference time, there were those like robotic little dogs that were covered in fluff, but they were definitely like plastic or metal or something inside and they like barked at you and they could move. Oh, yes, yes. That yes. is what Fluffy is. Um, okay. <laughs> nice. So Fluffy comes bounding forward and like waits for Hanalore. 
Hanalor, uh, Hanalor goes into her little bag of holding and pulls out a saddle, and <laughs> and attaches it on top of on, on top of Fluffy, and uh, and then like climbs up into the stirrups and says, "All right, I guess we ride." All right, you ride. Well, except everyone else walks, but yeah. you ride and walk um, out of the door and onto the island. You guess. Oh, that's kind of a scary looking island. Um. <laughs> you step out. It is the height of day. The sun is shining very differently from this picture. The sun is shining brightly overhead. Uh, it's warmed gone. the dew from the morning to create kind of a humid, sicky feeling. It's not entirely pleasant, especially those of you with fur or fluff. Um, you look around. This is much more like a big rock sticking out of water than an island. Um, the drop from the cliffside on the edge of this rock is something like 60 feet, if you were guessing. It's quiet. There are no birds chirping. Uh, some people might even say peaceful. Um, others might say unnerving. It's in the eye of the beholder. Uh, the only thing on this island that is at all interesting is this massive tower that's done in some strange non Minata style, non Tien style. And it stands kind of in the center of the massive rock that is this island. You would guess maybe three stories high, a huge clock face on the southern side, below which you do see a simple stone door that is partially open. Hmm. Have I never noticed that before? Mm. It's a clock tower. And well, it seems like as something. good of a place as any. Let me get a, a secret perception check from everyone. So let's go ahead and do secret a blind GM roll on those perception checks. Perception Switch that also check. to blind GM roll and perception. Oh. I'm so used to seeing my dice go. Does everybody else's see game paused or is that just me? I have it paused. It's okay. paused. I was just making sure it wasn't just like a problem on my side. All right. So, um, Piper, you're a little preoccupied with the fact that your fluff keeps getting like stuck to itself and it's, it's just really not, you're not sweaty because you're a stuffed animal, but it's, it's not great. You're not comfortable. Um, but everyone else, you notice that, you know, looking down over the, the cliffside, the water at the base of the rocks is paused mid-wave, almost as though, you know, the waves were crashing against the rock at some point and then just stopped in time. There are birds literally hanging in the sky mid-flight. There's no breeze. Um, and as you look kind of further out from the island, you can see there is water that moves, maybe like 20 feet off the island. But everything within is stuck, like stuck in time almost. So it's exactly like the picture. So t so TikTok, <laughs> TikTok will like grab a rock and like throw it. Does the rock still like behave normally? Yeah, the rock still moves because you threw it. Okay, it so it's not like one of those situations where it's like, and then the rock stops immediately. Okay. Mm -mm. You should be kinder to rocks. That's, that's a theory. They support you every day. Does anyone else think, feel like this game is paused? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, the pause of, oh, wait, no, it's back. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a good joke. I gotta put that back. <laughs> uh, um, all right. This we, isn't we like. should go after her in there. He like, a TikTok will point over to the open door. Do we see any light uh, or anything in there? Oh, sorry. Oh, no. I was you just going to say, I do a quick look around and see if there's anything. Is there any other structures, or is it just this one building? It is just that one building, and everything else is pretty much rock, or there's like a handful of little shrubs, and that sort of Wait. thing. Okay, so was our little laboratory like another building on this island? No, your laboratory is a doorway that leads it's into a, a demiplane. It's a demiplane. Oh, okay, like, like Howl's Moving Castle style. Kind of, yeah. Okay. So there's a door, so the door you came out of is still there. You could go back in the... the 
the workshop okay. if you wanted to. Oh, but gotcha. I think our job here is done. Then we turn around and go back inside. Now, uh, <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Don't how do we know this game day? Like, <laughs> how do we not? Years. How do we know we this isn't just how this already goes anyway? Like, you know, what if what if outside the house is like this anyway? Hmm. One way to find out. Getting into predestination or pre- predetermination then. If everything is already set in stone. I, like I, fig- I figure uh, Piper, she like uh, hefts her great sword onto her fluffy little shoulder and is like, all right, to the tower. Okay. You all head toward the tower. It is massive. As you get closer and closer, you realize just how massive it is. It is, it's kind of an octagonal shape, but it's about 80 feet across, like, so it dwarfs all of you. Um, Everything dwarfs me. <laughs> 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 you all head inside. Um, the door is already open, so you don't need to push it. Um, and this is essentially feels like a storage area. Um, the western wall has kind of collapsed. Uh, it looks like taking it, it took the staircase with it. So maybe there used to be stairs there, but now it's just rubble. And it's blocked kind of the entryway up through that direction. There are crates, boxes, all sorts of kind of odds and ends, mostly rotted away at this point. Like there maybe was something of value here, but it's been centuries since anyone saw it. Um, You also notice looking up that there is a 10 foot square hole in the ceiling. Uh, And it looked like there used to be a ladder, but the ladder has kind of broken and fallen away. Otherwise, there's nothing really in this room. And how high is the ceiling above us? The ceiling is 20 feet high. Oh, my. Well, I don't imagine she's hiding in any of these crates. Perhaps she's check. above. I mean, she never wanted crates, to play my games. <laughs> Looking into the crates, there's... I mean, she's not in any of them. The reindeer games? No. A little late for that. So um, I could game. I could try and get get up into that that little uh, that little hole up in the ceiling, see if see if there's anything up there. Uh, uh, I'm not but sure then if how are the rest of us? Um, I mean, rope? I, I've got rope. I don't know if it's big enough for y'all to climb on, but mm, we need to construct a ladder. Well, looking around, unless you brought a ladder crates? with you, you have crates. You think mm. you can move them? You have bits of ladder, although I don't know how trustworthy they are. Uh, and then I you mean, have we're with not you. heavy, so I mean, they don't need to be too too he- <laughs> too uh, trusty. <laughs> I say we start with the crates before we send up anyone alone. But then that can be our fallback. I could throw you up there. Well, I've got my grappling gun. You know, I, oh, I can just. Right. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, my God. That's amazing. I love anyway, it. Uh, I'm reminded of my little swamp thing action figure I had when I was a kid that the uh, hand extended. <laughs> uh, I always think of the Batman action figures, but you know, yes. that's me. I had that one, too. But my swamp thing was my faves. That's totally reasonable. <laughs> All right, so are we crates or are we grappling we, gun? We are going to crate a little bit. That way she has something to, to I don't know, hop off of. I don't know. <laughs> I think um, a little I, bit of It both. depends on how long her uh, her rope is on the grappling. I, I guess, yeah, like how far, how long your rope if, is. Is it like action figure length rope or is it actual <laughs> length rope? <laughs> um. So I, I do have... Uh, 50 feet of rope so oh, okay yeah, yeah then you're probably fine then I don't think we actually need to use the crates except for to maybe get us up but if Do you have the to, rope to make it a shorter climb I mean how, how long would it take us to move the crates uh, it does not take a whole lot of time it will require a few athletics checks I mean I'm very athletic if pertinent also I just realized that um, since I'm a monk I'm carrying zero bulk because I didn't bring my uh, my backpack with me. Apparently, that might have been a mistake. We'll uh, that was probably a mistake. <laughs> You're gonna have to take but, my healing now. <laughs> but apparently, I have a maximum bulk of seventeen. Wow! So... Carry everyone. <laughs> Dang! Wow! I have a maximum I mean, bulk of dwarf. six. <laughs> Jeez. 
Uh, okay, so moving crates. So there are two things. There are crates, which are bigger, and there are boxes. Crates are a little bit harder to move, um, but they give you a five foot up type of a step. The boxes are two and a half feet up. And uh, remember, it's like a 20, uh, 20 foot gap. So uh, if you want to move a box, go ahead and give me athletics checks. Uh, if you want to move a crate, tell me. Is, uh, what's the, just what's a the public range on your grappling right? gun? A uh, hundred feet, actually. It's got a large oh. reel coiled with a hundred feet of thin metal cord. Let's just shoot a grappling yeah, hook. Yeah, I was going to say, let's just shoot a right. grappling hook. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, I didn't know if it was just like, you know, throwing a grappling hook or something like that, where it's, you know, we wanted to get closer to the destination, but no. Um, I do uh, think I, I still have to it in roll. Her gun. I'm assuming you have to hit, like, maybe, like, bomb rolls, like you have to hit a five or something. <laughs> you have to be, it's probably a roll to see if it actually, like, catches on something. I've done it in one other game, and I cannot remember what what the role was. I believe it was just a or what the requirement was. But I'm looking. Um, uh, it looks like you need to. It's a secret roll, attack roll with a DC dependent on the target, which is typically twenty. Okay, on the so success, go ahead and make a the hook. secret attack roll. Okay. Yeah, you and... just don't want to critically fail. Okay. Because right. then you fall halfway up. All right, uh, you shoot the gun. Uh, the little grappling hook deploys and flies up through the hole and seems to catch on something. I have an idea. Just because I do know uh, Rachel's character, we should send Rachel first. Because I think since she's made entirely of fluff, she's immune to falling damage. So even if you critically fell and failed and she fell, she can't <laughs> build up momentum to actually injure herself. <laughs> so yeah, I can't remember which one it is. I think it's feet. it's not the nothing but fluff. I think it's the other one that you have that uh, no, I think it's just the, your your uh, heritage that you're a stuffed animal, mm. you're oh. stuffed uh, puppet. Also, taking Fluffy will require someone to carry Fluffy because he yeah, does not um, have thumbs. Yes, my stuffed poppet. I have uh, little inside other than cotton sawdust or dried leaves, so I take no damage from falling, regardless of the distance. Excellent. Nice. So you can test the rope. <laughs> I will Although test way next to nothing. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. you know. Great. So athletics checks to climb. Athletics check to climb. Is it a public role or secret role? What I don't it? think it's secret. I don't believe it's secret. You know if you fall. Or you know if you don't climb. <laughs> All right. I, and, uh, I'll, I was just going to say, I'll take Fluffy with me. Because, again, I'm, I'm not encumbered until I reach 12 bulk. And I have nothing. <laughs> awesome. So Okay, right, you cool. can literally carry a full-grown human... I think two. With that. <laughs> no, yeah, you're you like an ant too. Oh my gosh! Wow, oh, man, that's awesome. Well, I rolled a seven for an eighteen. All right, yep. You Sorry, uh, you climb. I need one more check. I'm gonna do two checks for the climb because this is a live game. We don't all want to be climbing forever. The rope oh. does not break. Uh, Piper, you get to the top, uh, safe and sound. Every uh, everything seems to be going swimmingly. Do I see anything of immediate danger? No. You do see the next room, uh, which is an interesting room, but we'll save that for once everybody's up here. But there does not seem to be anything that's going to leap out and attack anyone. Okay. And just in case it, it matters, I do have shiny button eyes. Uh, okay. Which means that my eyes reflect smallest details in the dimmest light, so I get canny acumen. Okay, so, just saying. But yeah, no, I'm this, sure if it really helps me. There's stuff in here, but it doesn't seem to be moving stuff. Okay, you generate light, correct? Uh, I think if I if I use my Aziz light thing. Oh my gosh, okay. you are a Care Bear! Don't they have like light that they can have in their tummies? <laughs> well, I assumed I was a Chubbles because the lies light up. Ah, uh, goodness. And if you don't know Gosh, what a Chubbles uh, is, please go Google it, because I have one. <laughs> my lord. All right, everyone else, let's get some chart. climbing going. All right, well, I accidentally already rolled, so I'll well, take Magni is good. Go ahead, and it's two checks each. I'm it's not athletic. super Boundary difficult. likes okay. Rick. <laughs> and I Man. suppose I'll go next, because I think uh, how you just, said that uh, you got the Magni grapple. just puts that dog over his shoulder and, like, one-handed, like, climbs this rope yep. somehow. It's, it's ridiculous. 
Okay, what was that about? Uh, wow. You're probably going to need some boosts, Jordan, because oh, no, I got to get all the good like rolls you. out. I got to get all the good okay. rolls out. That's how that works. Okay. <laughs> oh, somebody has donated <gasps> to our Tiltify. So I'm going to give awesome. the party two items. Ooh. Ooh. So let's see what they are. I'm going to roll them. All right. So it looks like you have earned. Oh, wow. uh, you know, let's do Piper. You find in your pocket a. Uh, an elixir that you had forgotten about, a sea touch elixir. Hmm. And uh TikTok, as you are climbing, uh you hear a rattle around in like your chest, and you find an elixir of life. Lesser. Nice. Fancy. Nice. I have added that to my inventory. Likewise. Uh, we also <laughs> are gonna give out a hero point because we have a lovely donation. So the first one was from Dalhip. This one is from Jeremy. Awesome. Thank uh, you. Let's see who's going to get this hero point. Not Fluffy. Why did I put Fluffy? <laughs> 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 All right. Well, Fluffy was chosen thrice, but Fluffy can't have hero points. Um, Piper, you are uh, the lucky one. You have a second hero point. Everyone has yeah. one. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Fluffy deserves those hero points. If Fluffy needs to have a hero point, Fluffy shall have a hero point. But. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, Fantastic World just gave Heidi three hero points. So Heidi, oh! you are maxed out on hero points. Oh, man. <laughs> Bravo. Well, I, thank you. I think that, I'm not sure if it was Angel or someone else from over there at Fantastic Worlds, but thank you so much. All right, Heidi, um, it's time. It's just time to right. climb. Um, I So I was th I was looking at my skills and I realized Handler probably di wasn't actually carrying things because she only has an athletics of plus two. So she was probably more building things with her beavery and <laughs> acrobatics but um so yeah you, you so, were the one handing the tools when yeah, needed yeah. you know that's that's yeah. fair Your despite driver. my character's appearance and love of dwarven culture despite the fact that i don't think i've ever met a dwarf i also have a one craft so apparently i'm a <laughs> terrible dwarf all right hannah Laura gets herself going thankfully this rope's not super hard to climb okay does fluffy also need to roll to climb Fluffy was carried, carried up, up by Fluffy was, Yes. Yep. I could have carried you up too, actually. I didn't think about it. Honestly, I probably could have carried all of you, but uh, oh well. It's okay. <laughs> Hanalore makes it barely. By the end, you're like oh, tired. I extend one finger down for her to grab and pull herself <laughs> up by. <laughs> uh, uh, well, thank you. Thank you, Magni. That was mighty, mighty. You, you are so strong. Uh, thanks. I built uh, that way. All right. Um, so you like all a brick wall. end up up here, and I believe <laughs> that a lot of you have dark vision, but you don't need it. It is it is the height of day. It is daytime. Um, there are some kind of windows built in that aren't present on this map, so there is light in here. If I squeeze Piper, does she light up? Do I have to hug her? <laughs> That's up to Piper. If, if I was a real Chubbles, then yes, that's what yeah. you do. Oh, goodness. So Piper has to squeeze herself to activate the light spell that lives in her heart. Slash oh. her eyes, I guess. Oh. The eyes are so the window much. to the soul. Where Where right. is the Aziz light thing? I gotta remember what does it is. Does it light up like by going like, ah? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm fitted with a magical lens that allows me to light up a room. Uh, which can be activated as the spell. So yes, that's what we're going to say. I have to hug myself in order to activate my light up eyes. You're Excellent. the strangest barbarian that's ever been. I love it so much. <laughs> it is the greatest. I love this. I, we might have to resurrect these puppets for another game. You know what? Every, really everything from now on is puppets. All right. So you're in this room. Uh, it is the Patreon same dimensions goal. as the lower floor room, but it's not empty. Uh, in fact, there are four statues that sit in the cardinal directions of the room. Who has Each a golden these... scarab? <laughs> you don't have, do you have one? No, I said, who has one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Each of these depicts a woman with a severe widow's peak who wears flowing robes decorated with small hourglasses. Two of the statues hold a small orb aloft in one hand while what well, the other hand seems to be spell casting. The other two have their bows drawn all of them are facing a raised circular dais in the center of the room on which sits a box that has ornate star and moon imagery as well as writing carved onto it. The walls are covered in elaborate animated murals that are illuminated by daylight through the various windows here. And there's a flight of stairs that climb the Western wall leading up to a third floor. What would you like to do? 
I'm going to ponder these orbs. All right. If you want to look at the statues, you can uh, make me a perception check to kind of just inspect the statues. I shall do that. I'm going to look over the murals. All right. Uh, which mural do you want to start with? Uh, I guess the closest uh, clockwise from me. So basically closest to my left. Closest to your left. So the southern one? Uh, yeah, I guess if we're coming in from where the trap door was, then yeah, southern. Okay. All right. So let's do a secret perception for looking at statues. If you want to know more about statues, like maybe recognize who they are, that's a secret religion or first world lore check. Ooh, uh, or you I can look that. at the box. Uh, Jordan, what do you want to do? What is uh, I'm going to just have to use my perception because I don't have uh, religion. So perception roll for me to look and the at the murals are perception uh the murals are a different thing let me come to the murals in a second okay all right so looking at this um with the exception of piper you all look at the statues um specifically i believe hanalore was looking at orbs um you find that the two statues that have a bow are also wearing a necklace that has a key. Uh, it's almost like an amulet. It's a big key. Um, one of them, the one to the... No, no, no. The one to the north. No, no, no. Um, the key is kind of covered in hourglass symbols, uh, kind of delicately carved, almost like a pattern over the key. The one to the south is just a regular plain key. Um, and then those looking at the two with the... Uh, I said orb. Bows? Um, let's switch that. The Bows and arrows are keys, so not Hanalore, but everyone else that was looking notices what I just said. Okay. Hanalore looking at the orbs. The western statue has an orb that's covered in hourglasses, and the eastern one is just a regular orb. You don't really know what that means, but it's kind of interesting. All right. So for Rick looking at the southern mural... This mural is really weird. There's a bizarre looking woman with green chitinous exoskeleton, large compound eyes, and mandibles that floats above kind of a sequence of images. There's a broken hourglass uh, resting in pieces at their feet. And then the images that make up this mural begin with a swarm of insects, some of which resemble the woman, but others are kind of monstrosity, horrifying bug things um this swarm covers worlds consumes them like locusts on a field of crops in the next scene there are insects that look like this woman leaving that swarm on different vessels almost like flying ships uh they seem to find new homes on different strange worlds but this this locust swarm pursues them everywhere they end up going and these illustrations kind of fan out uh in another spider web of, of images not in a straight line. Um, so it's almost like, um, you know, you're looking into kind of glimpses of a timeline, except it's not a linear timeline. Hmm. You, you can make an occultism or society check. These are secret. Oh, that was really not the person to come over here. Well, or you can sure. tell others about them. It's up to you. Let me, let me see first. I'm curious what happens when I critically fail. Sure. Um, so you look at this mural and you think it's a bad omen. You think it's probably more metaphysical than literal. Uh, this great swarm represents like all of the evil in the universe overtaking all that is good. Um, you kind of think like the hourglass is broken. This is like the darkest timeline almost represented in this mural. Hmm. I think we've come to a dangerous place. Which is why we have to save Enda. <clears throat> uh I see that you got you got a broken hourglass over there. This orb has a bunch of hourglasses on it. Um do you think there are any connection? Perhaps if we broke the statue, or perhaps in a different uh time the statue had been broken. Or perhaps No, no, that's all I've got. Hmm. Breaking things is not really great. We should um, we should try to fix things. Fixing is good. Fix the hourglass. Fix the time outside. 
Are there any other murals in here that I haven't looked at? There are. There are, uh, there's a mural on the northern and the eastern wall. And they seem to be different um, than the one you just looked at. Well, I'll head east and I just, I assume that I got that correct. So that seems, that seems logical. Uh, <laughs> keep an eye out for uh, bug women with tiny little bug women. Yes. Um, those of you looking at statues, if you want, can make a religion or first world war check. Uh, it's a secret because it's, you know, you're recalling all the knowledge. I can't do that because I have not the training. Uh, it might have gotten buried, but I did roll first world world oh, war. I didn't see that, but I see it now. Excellent. Uh, Hanalore, you know exactly who these statues are of. These are statues of the eldest known as Shika. Uh, she's a neutral eldest, one of the kind of almost a almost deity, right, um, from the first world. Very, very strong individuals. Um, her areas of interest are entropy, reincarnation, and time. Uh, Shika the many is not a single entity, but rather multiple beings who travel forward and backward through time. Each has sequentially held the title of Shika, uh, picking up the mantle and the knowledge that comes upon possessing it. Um, and essentially, Shika visits so many overlapping temporal locations that other creatures encounter a random seeming Shika each time. So Shika is an eldest, but also a title. Um, it's said that Shika, one of the Shikas got all the Shikas together into a room and they all looked at everything. And so that's how they know everything. Uh, Hanalore will convey all of that. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok just kind of ponders that kind of does this motion that's really confusing really confusing why mm. you're not supposed to be able to be in two places at once but this person can be and that's weird well but they're not it's, it's more like they're two people in two places at once Right? They're just two people that are the same person. So, uh, uh, both of them are Shika. This turned into a Jet Li movie. <laughs> you must open your mind to the astral plane and the, the multifaceted existence. I wonder if one I of them is the you one. My monk training. <laughs> there's like, a, he like opens his chest cavity and there's like a tiny little scroll and a tiny little like pen. And he just kind of <laughs> makes a tiny, t- tiny little note to follow up on this later and then just puts it all back. <laughs> uh, Hannah Laura, as you notice, as you kind of realize this, it's like you are blessed from a fantastic world and all can credits. add a D4 to your next five rolls. Wow. What? Okay. Man, you're getting spoiled. I was going to say, she's getting some special treatment up here, y'all. I was <laughs> more thinking up. Ross and Heather really dropping the ball. Where's our bonus? <laughs> I know, right? Seriously. Uh, we're my path folk at. Where are Support the path network. folk? Come right. on, path folk. <laughs> They're here for Heidi, okay? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> All right. So, can, uh, um, yes. Sorry, can I Either make an occultism will... roll on the uh, the mural? Sure, yeah. You can go down and look at the other I, mural. Oh, that's a good point. I do want to do that. And then, I'd like uh, to try as well. Okay, everybody that's looking at the southern one, give me your rolls. Uh, and then we'll hop over to the eastern mural with, uh, with Magni. All right. Go ahead and roll that occultism again, I assume. It's actually going to be something different. Ah, fantastic. Maybe it's something... Um, no, I'm not really good at much of anything. Yeah, Piper, <laughs> you're... Uh, you just kind of shrug. Um, <laughs> Hanalore and TikTok both are like, ah, I know exactly what this is. This is an alien race. Like this bug lady uh, is Shika, but Shika as something called a Sheeran. You don't really know where you know that term from, but they're kind of like an alien race out in the dark tapestry, like out in space. Like an Ed Sheeran? Um, yeah, like an Ed yes. Sheeran. Uh. <laughs> um, and they take the form of this insectoid being, um, and they're kind of watching over the timeline. You don't think it's a bad omen? You think this is like a literal series of events that has happened or will happen or is happening? You're not really sure about the timing. Uh, so okay so perhaps there isn't just 
human shakas. Maybe there are alien shakas on all the different planets in in uh, all out, outside of wherever we are right now. And they're constantly learning everything from all times forever uh, because they are always happening. <laughs> there could even be a Shika Waititi. <laughs> <laughs> Making great movies. <laughs> all right. Um, so TikTok and Hanalor, y'all both knew that. Uh, hopping over to this Eastern mural. Um, this is... Nope, this is a family show. On the Eastern wall... Uh, there's a handsome human looking man with white hair and piercing golden eyes holding an hourglass in one hand as he looks down upon a chaotic web of vignettes that Fabio. seem like they're out of a dream. Um, in one of them, there's a mountain that slowly ambles across the landscape. And in the Ooh. foreground, there are strange creatures, some of which look like tree people, some fly with gossamer wings, uh, having some sort of court like holding court in the foreground uh in another a great monster fights an army of humanoid creatures wielding bows that shoot lightning in yet another there's a silver and glass castle standing in the deepest part of a dark forest and an elderly woman a hag perhaps staring out from the front doors and in the final kind of image here there's an otherworldly city shown in a trench at the bottom of an ocean the streets uh, and buildings are decaying. There's magical light. Everything's encrusted with mollusks and bubbles um, are kind of floating slowly. There is an enormous streamlined blue-green Lenorm with flippers in place of legs curled around that a temple in the center of that underwater town, almost keeping watch over the place. Hmm. This is first world lore, nature or society. Oh, wait, nature. I'm good at that one. Hold on. Yeah, we found one. We found one. I was like, wait, society, I can do that. I spent a lot of time just standing in a garden, so. <laughs> you know, the, the blades of the grass speak to you. I mean, I can hide in plain sight any place that it makes sense for a statue to be. By oh, just standing awesome. still. <laughs> nice. All right. So everybody has kind of gathered to look at this. Hmm. Um, Hanalore. You think that this depicts potential futures of Galarian, depending on the choices that people and other beings make? For example, like a great war could happen with the Fae that are preoccupying or that are occupying kind of the River Kingdom's area, or potentially Baba Yaga could rule the whole world and have this castle, or there could be some catastrophic type of sinking continent thing where everything falls into the depths of the ocean. Um, so that's kind of your take. Um, Magni, you're not really sure what to make of it, um, and neither is Piper, but TikTok, you think, you think this is the first world? Um, each of these scenes kind of shows a different prominent location or figure. Um, you know that the first world doesn't exactly follow the same rules for time as other places. So the illustrations aren't necessarily a timeline, um, and they could be happening at any given moment. Uh, and you do think that the man is another version of Shika. Uh, this time, most likely a fae um, version. Hmm. I pass that along to uh, everybody. How I didn't recognize that was the first world, I will never know. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Talk to <just> shrugs. <laughs> not like I was born there or anything. <laughs> uh. Well... I imagine that there are various different types of places in the first world. Some forests, some mountains. I'm particularly intrigued by the mountain that walks. He seems like a, a nice gentleman. This is all very fascinating, but where's Inda? They're oh. a way out of this room? Yeah, there's a yeah. set of stairs that leads up. Oh. No, well, we could just keep walking on, although with my understanding, every boulder in your path is an obstacle to overcome and learn from. What, you learn how to punch a boulder? Uh, if necessary. Only in volcanoes. <laughs> <laughs> so TikTok will start moseying towards the stairs to ascend up. Oh, there's another mule here. 
Well, let's take a look at the last one. We might as well finish out the set. Uh, you make Y'all kind of like a, there's a, a big, the there's a big treasure chest in the center of the room. Just, <laughs> oh, uh, I totally forgot about that. Oh my gosh, yes, I totally. I got distracted by all the statues. <laughs> uh, I, um, I just naturally assumed it was a giant trap treasure chest that we need to figure out some sort of puzzle here before we touch. So I was like, I want to look at everything else first. All right, mural and then treasure kills chest. Me. Okay. All right, <laughs> all right y'all head over to the last mural on the northern wall. Mm -hmm. um, this mural has a beautiful elven woman with dark flowing hair and an hourglass in her hands hovering above a series of vignettes. Um, the first of these is a strange continent on a planet that doesn't look like this planet. Um, there's a swirl of stars connecting this to kind of a second place. This time an ancient city done in an elven architectural style. Elves go about their lives, their faces, you know, peaceful, happy. From there, the timeline seems to split into three fragmented smaller images. Um, in one, elves are seen among the star, far beyond the stars, one might say. Oh. Uh, and that strange planet is shown again. In another, elves seem to travel underground to set up new civilizations. In yet another, some elves remain on the surface, but rocks are falling from the sky. The sun is gone. And then in the final vignette um, of each of these, there's another version that seems like time has passed. The strange planet has like far more advanced technology. Those below the surface look different. They're depicted as darker. Uh, and then those that were on the surface seem to be kind of a, an ancestry in decline. Um, and there's more humans in those images. Uh, this is elven lore or society check. If you would like to know more about what this is. I mean, I'll roll, but don't trust anything that I say. <laughs> I'm just curious what Jessica came up with for critical failures. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't really know anything about this. Uh, except Hannah Lore. You think that this is it's kind of weird because everything else has been Shika, but you think that this is actually for Rasma watching over the elves? And you guess hmm. for Rasma's kind of like fate. Um, this seems like a really old place, so maybe that makes sense. Um, and you kind of think this is a depiction of like the cycle of life and death for el the elven people. Interesting. Huh. I mean, I, Heidi, am like realizing that I have a plus two modifier to society, so... Uh, but I, it's more I mean, than what I got. Yeah. You're getting an extra D4 on these rolls, aren't you? Yep. Yep. So, uh, who knows? But who knows? Um, Here's a one on every day. Well, and a 20. And it's, and apparently it's a four in her case. Yeah. I wonder, yeah. I mean, I don't know what the elves have to do with Shaka, but or the first world, but people don't die in the first world. They just kind of come back so uh, f i don't know for asthma for asthma wouldn't have any any domain because people from the first world don't end up in the river of souls i don't know i don't know no not jurisdiction. <laughs> well I correct me if i'm wrong i got a three religion sure uh for Esma's goddess of death but also life yeah, she's the god of, of morticians and midwives. So are, are new people created in the first world, I suppose, is the question. I, you know, like I you. don't... Frankly, probably. I mean, I, I wasn't created in the first world. I just, you know, I was stolen into the first world. Uh, a transplant, if you will. So, what's in this chest? That's All a good right. question. <laughs> you head over to the chest. Um, it's it's a pretty chest. It's uh, got all sorts of kind of celestial carvings into it, stars and planets. And uh, on the top, for all of those that read Sylvan. Nope. Haha, uh -huh, nope. I yep, don't know me. if this will actually show in Sylvan, but it's supposed to. It may not. It's showing in not something I can read. So oh, good. That. Then it shows yeah. the Sylvan. <laughs> One of them looks like a butt. 
It does. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I believe Heidi, are you the only one that reads Sylvan? Uh, probably. And I, I got it from my uh, found in the Fae or found amongst the Fae. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and show you here. Where did it go? Why is this like this? All right. Go ahead and put that in the chat for you so that you can see what it says. Ooh, uh, there's an inscription. Bill on the box. Gibberish. Uh, do I need to do something on my character sheet to give myself the language? Um... Just make sure that your token is clicked. But I thought you had it. Ah, oh, you don't. I don't have it. I don't have it. In... I got it. Hold on. I think it's on the main page. I think Here. you just click it. It is the first page. Okay. And then if I clicky click on my token and go back to the chat. If only it were dwarven. Uh, it's still not showing up for me. Here, I got it. All right. See if it does now. We're going to try this one more time and then I'm just going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, technology. Ah, uh, technology. Uh, so magical, but so fickle. That's true. It still looks like a bunch of squiggles to me. All right, Aww. it's being a difficult thing. That's fine. Um, Hannah Laura, you can read it. It says, Infinity awaits the worthy. Oh, there it goes. Infinity awaits the worthy. Um, interesting. Like, like immortality or what? Is this a quest mm -hmm. for us to become the next Shika? <laughs> I don't want to be a Shika. Oh, I'm happy being myself, but uh, I at least think about it. Think about all the I things we learn. I think that we are all very helpful individuals, and I would say, generally speaking, worthy. So let's get our reward and then up the stairs. All right. So who's opening the box? Who's I'll open the box. Yeah. I have a plus nine thievery. It's not light. Oh, okay. It's not long. So no, just uh, Maggie opens the box. Inside is a mirror. Um, it's kind of a big hand mirror, and it's kind of it's in like a gilded silver and gold frame. Um, it's beautiful. Ah, uh, I see now. I pick up the mirror, kind of look into it. The infinity it we were looking for was inside of us the entire time. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> TikTok just face palms, just like mm. <laughs> uh maybe Don't doubt me, I have pocket that for later. <laughs> Wait, if you take hold on, a uh, handler pulls out a second mirror and like puts it on the opposite side oh, from the other mirror and it's like making a portal that's never good. That, can, I, it reflects look infinity. There's like uh, an infinity of me. That's true. Does that make me worthy? Nothing what bad's if... happened. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> you said that there was the two statues with the bows are identical. But then you said one statue had an orb with little scales or uh, what were the hourglasses? The other one didn't. Maybe if we put the mirror in front of the one that didn't, it would then show a statue there that did. We could try it. I'm really regretting the fact that we don't have any kind of spellcaster right now. <laughs> we have no idea if they're magic. It might be magical for all we know. Worst case, worst case scenario, I'll mountain stance style and punch it into oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so so your answer to everything. <laughs> so you head on over to the the one that does not have orb, like the orb statue that does not have hourglasses on the orb, is the one on the eastern wall. So go ahead and put yourselves wherever you want to be standing. Um, and I'm assuming Magni is going to be the one holding the mirror up. Yeah. Just, just so you know, we're not on that map. Like, oh, you're not on this map. My bad. You haven't been the so entire time sense. you've been here. Yeah. I, I was, <laughs> oh, I was wondering friends. if you even had a map for this. <laughs> I, I, was just, I was using the theater of the imagination. Yeah, the theater one. of the imagination. Just close but also your there's eyes. a map. Envision it. Envision is a single action. I don't yeah, suppose the statue is like like has the gap in his hand as as though something is supposed to slot in. That's a no, nice it's holding map. an orb. Okay. All right. So everybody, where they want to be? Yeah, sure, sure. Sure. Excellent. All right. So uh, Magni holds the mirror up 
Uh, for a moment, nothing seems to happen. Um, oh, well, it's worth a try. And just as you go to put the mirror away, you have... The murals are animated, but suddenly the mural is moving more than it should be. And Ooh. out of it slithers the Lenorm that Ooh. had been depicted in the underwater city. Oh, no. Well, As okay, though then. a painting come to life. Oh. oh. Are you okay, here okay, to then. grant us eternity? So here's Infinity. Picture oh, that too. And uh, we're going we're gonna to be rolling some initiative. Uh -oh. Yay! Yeah. Ah, First crap. combat here. Um, great. What have we That's done? A... What we always do, Jordan. Get into trouble. Hey! Ooh. All right, so if you go to the little fist, you can roll your d20. Yep, I rolled by blind. Ah. Do you want me to re-roll that, or should I go ahead and... Uh... Oh, I can... Um... Oh, there we are. I can unblind it. Ooh, apparently we all rolled pretty well. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> all righty then. Let's Two go nat team. 20s for that. Woo! Actually, you know I, what? I, I think I also got a nat 20. My yeah. Uh, yeah, you did. So I did. Uh, Three yeah. nat 20s. I did make the joke before we started this that we're team one round because we're all combat, <laughs> like, like we're all offensively focused. All right, well, since I didn't get to, there we go. I didn't roll out the open, so I'm going to give myself confetti. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, speaking of, Magni is first. Um, the, Ooh. It looks like a scary water dragon has slithered out of the oil painting and is, uh, you know, roaring at you as though it's going to attack. I do not see it on the map. It's hmm. behind the statue for you. Oh, yeah, uh, it is on the other side of the statue. Yeah, it's on me. the other side of the statue for you. All right. Um, well, stay back, stay back. I'll see what I can do about this. I will then go ahead and, uh, let's see. It's 10, 20, 30. Yeah, apparently I have to move that, move it like that. All right, that's fine. So that's... 5, 15. Oh, that's the statue's blocking my way. I see now. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's on the other side of the statue you started on. 35. Where are you Oh, going? okay. Sorry. I I can't see it. So when you said it's on the other side of the statue, I assumed it was the far side of the room. Oh, no, no. It's on the <laughs> other side of the statue on this side of the room. Next to ah, the mural on the eastern wall. All right, I'll assume someone took a free action to do the one action point out to me, and then I run the other direction. Uh, no, we have it. You have first initiative, so no. No, that's, I'm, I'm just joking. Okay. You hear it slithering like, um, over there. All right, yeah, so I pop real quick around the corner, so that's only a single action. I've got a 35-foot movement speed because I'm a monk, so sure. Nice, nice. So, yeah, I'll rush my way forward. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use one action to enter into my mountain stance. So, basically, I just, you know, step wide, plant my feet, do the... Uh, the James T. Kirk double fist punch down at us. <laughs> I, I didn't know if you're going that way or E Honda, like sumo style. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and mountain strike this guy. Ah. Uh, okay. Hero point. Okay. <laughs> I was like, a 16 would not do it. So. so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use that first hero point and let's try that again. Better. A uh, 23 does strike. You slam your fist into it feels like paint. Hmm. Oh well. Um, stranger things have happened. Anybody got some paint thinner? <laughs> so double fist slam down. My uh, mountain stance bringing my damage up to D8. So two D8s with my uh, sh striking uh, rune. You beat into the creature and paint splatters behind it. Hmm. Oh, well, I've done my best. <laughs> TikTok. Uh, okay, so TikTok is going to move up um, like around uh, Magni to get towards this thing. Um, I assume he already had his uh, great axe out because we're in a possibly dangerous place. Um, 
And uh, he clicks a button on it, and uh, I'm just going to upgrade this to a spanner now that it's uh, I'm small size. And it, like, splits the two heads of it split in half, and there's, like, little, like, um, like little holes in them. And he hits another button, and they start glowing with fire. And oh, wow. uh, he's going to megaton strike this thing <laughs> as, like, the back half of them, like, explode out in fire and, you know, fire it forward. <laughs> it's like a rocket <laughs> axe? Yes, it is a rocket axe. <laughs> All right. I'm My ready. Lord. I'm using a hero point. Hero point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Y'all are going to need some donations. I There's need people to give me audience. hero points. I told you, audience, I need them. All right, here we go. Suicide. We wasted all of our perfect Help. 20s on initiative. 24. That strikes your target. Yes. Megaton damage. Uh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. My Lord. <laughs> 23 points of damage. You chop into this thing um cutting part of its flippers off it doesn't bleed it's just paint so it splatters nice but it's still writhing around angrily at you are you still uh uh that was two actions to do the megaton strike so uh yeah i'm i'm, I'm done <laughs> all right so. hanalore hanalore higgins uh hanalore uh just uses a free action uh one shot, one kill, and uh, we'll like run, <laughs> run down about. I don't know what did I do. <laughs> uh, runs to about there and drops to one knee, lines up. Uh, so the one shot, one kill allows me to draw my gun, and okay. um, and then you know drops to the one knee, lines up the shot, and then makes a makes an attack. She's pulling um, a Furiosa up in here. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Let's see. Don't forget all of your bonuses and whatnot. All yeah, and of I get, the bonuses. Um, I don't know how to automatically add the D4, so I'm just going to do a public roll and then That's cool. roll public D4. Uh, Ooh, I'm going to... You know, uh, hero point that. I'm going to hero point that. I've got, I've got a lot <laughs> yes. of There's so many, yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and just... Do that again. There we oh, go. Yeah. There, yeah. there we are. Uh, and just for fun, funsies, let's go ahead and do that in case that's not a crit. You might, you might crit it, yeah. You yeah. certainly critical the yeah. painting, Ooh. the living yeah. painting. Yeah. Uh, and damage. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> Both <laughs> sides of the spectrum there. <laughs> You blast Chaotic. into this nice thing one. and it splatters over the wall and is gone. Oh. Nice. Just because? <laughs> <laughs> what, what the heck was that thing? How did that uh, get out of the wall? I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the mirror. TikTok just like shakes his spanner and like starts getting all, trying to get all the paint off of it. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I should consider being painted. <laughs> well, oh my gosh, I just here. now see you as a mini now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think very we uh, we don't put the the mirror in any more statue hands. Oh well. Are there any perhaps that might be useful to us if we reflect them off the off of the walls? I don't know. Let's just not do the one with the uh, the locust. Uh, Ugh, yeah, there that. were locusts. We don't need locust a swarm. Ladies. Yeah, we don't need a swarm coming after us. We don't need a swarm of elves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no swarms of any kind, please. I believe uh, when when elves are a swarm, it's called a dense troop of elves. Uh, <laughs> There is a set of stairs ascending up to the third floor. I don't know if we yeah, want to go that way. Probably make right. for the stairs. We're gonna yeah, go upstairs. Okay. Yeah, maybe the mirror will make more sense up there. Hmm. All righty, we head upstairs. Oh, that is a very colorful floor. It is Love very, it. very colorful. Wow. Love so, it. So vibrant. I this... blend right in. True. <laughs> this staircase leads up to a vaguely jewel shaped room uh, with a vibrant starburst patterned floor done in oranges and reds like the dawn sky one wall is covered floor to ceiling with mirrors it is the eastern wall 
Uh, and it almost makes the space feel twice as large. Um, on the southern wall, there is an, an ornate door. Uh, it almost looks like it's carved out of iron. Uh, that is nearly 10 feet across. Strangely, it doesn't have a doorknob or a handle. Uh, but there is a small round hole and a keyhole in the center, about three feet up. The very center, Hobbit style. Key. Keyhole. Wasn't there something about a key with a statue downstairs? The archer statues both had keys, one of which had hourglasses, one of which did not. Were the keys able to come off the statue or were they part of the statue? They were part of the statue. Okay. Maybe try your mirror trick up here. Maybe it'll just open the door. Okay. Now yeah, pull it up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hold the mirror up to the door. Um, and you suddenly see a face on the door. Um, oh. Okay. Alice in Wonderland. It doesn't talk to you, though. Oh, okay. Hello, face on the door. I say to the mirror where I can see the face. The whole door shifts. Um, not just in the mirror, like in the actual face, the actual space. Um, the door itself kind of shifts over a little bit, uh, and it suddenly looks like there's a big iron guy holding a big door as a shield almost. And he looks down at all of you, um, standing in front of the real door, and says, you can't come in. No Why? Message. Why not? Well, you, you don't have the key or the doorknob. Well, where's the key? Downstairs. Well, where's I can the make doorknob? the doorknob real quick. What are the dimensions and specifications? They have to be the magic key and the magic doorknob, and they're both downstairs. Where downstairs? What? On the statues. But the statues are just statues. Do we have to use the mirror in order to get them off the statues? Your brain is not made of fluff. Actually, actually it is, but... Ah, then it's a very smart brain. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Apparently, we need the mirror. But like, what if you just let us pass anyway? You know, I like with can't. A, well, but you know, you see, we're we, we're good friends with someone who who works below here and was working on that clock tower. Like building this clock tower, you know, I'm sure that she'd be fine with letting us pass. Oh, the Anagobu. Yes, yeah, she came in here. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm glad. So it, she's in this tier then. Yep. So let us buy. We're hers. No. Maybe let her uh, let us know that let her know that we're looking for her. We're very worried. Can't I have to stay here? I have to protect uh, the door well, to the crux of infinity. I well, don't have it, a like, magical uh, magical key or doorknob, but um, what if we use the magic word, please? please? <laughs> you know, if you could go tell. Oh no. Um, oh. she's preoccupied, and I'm not allowed to move from here. This is my spot. Which statues have the key and the doorknob? Well, that's the puzzle. But my brain is fluff. That's a very smart I, fluff. My brain, brain is a uh, rock. I have an mm. 18 intelligence. Can I roll some intelligence check? Sure. You can roll a straight up intelligence roll, I guess. Um, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll make our way back downstairs yeah. regardless. Like, yeah, I mean, let, we can make our way downstairs. The doors, but... the the man with the door settles back uh, into place. This feels very labyrinth. I thought you might like that. I yeah. got an 18 dance. for in my intelligence check, Magic so dance. there's that. Okay, so TikTok, here's what you've deduced. The <laughs> You put the mirror in front of the one that did not have hourglasses on the orb. Right. Oh, that was my next step. You yeah. think the orb is a doorknob. And you think that the key is a key. And you think that since the one that you put it in front of didn't have hourglasses and you had to get into a fight with a scary monster the ones with the hourglasses are probably a better bet okay try the one with the orb first okay we go up okay. to the one with the orb all right you go up to the one with the orb as you turn the mirror most of the statue stays the same but as you hover it over the orb itself the orb suddenly changes from just like a stone part of the statue to a metal doorknob looking thing that you think you can just take piper grabs it then i quickly right. jump in front of the mirror and then i'm disappointed when i don't turn from stone into an awesome metal poppet 
Yeah, or it doesn't change boy. you from what you are. It just, you know, <laughs> unstonifies you. Didn't you just yeah. say you were happy with who you were? Yes, that was a that was an obvious lie. <laughs> that could have been a real dwarf. I uh, didn't take the right background. <laughs> <laughs> Curse right. you requirements of this adventure. <laughs> hey, Why did I get that rare background from I can't remember where book that came from. You got that rare ancestry instead. That's true. All right, so you now have a doorknob. Um, if you want to know more about the doorknob, um, it's actually a nature check. <clears throat> the dwarf might be really good at this. Oh, well, they might. pop it, dwarf. Here, let, let, let me see this. Uh, let me set that up for a blind GM roll there. Throw and drop that. Throw that out there. Let's see what happens. Appropriately, both Magni and Hanalor recognize this uh, material as uh, oral calcum, uh, which is one of the rarest Ooh. known sky metals. Uh, that actually has the ability to warp time around it. It can mm -hmm. kind of make things seem things seem to speed up or slow down. Um, it is exceedingly rare, uh, the same weight and density as steel, but way more durable. This is Aura Halcom. It has a property much akin to um, actual play podcasts where they help time speed up and get through monotonous <laughs> tasks. <laughs> I'll, I'll also point out the hilarity <laughs> of Oric Halcom being a central theme uh, item in the previous stream. We did not coordinate that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they had Oric Halcom coming out the wazoo too. We don't believe in coordination here. <laughs> Only Hence why we literally, there's no magic user. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so funny. Oh gosh. All right, so we'll, you have we'll go the get the orb. key now. We'll go get the key. Uh, which one do you try? The one with or without hourglasses? Uh, the with one with the hourglass, definitely. All right, yeah, you easily hop over there. Um, it takes some doing because these are very tall statues comparatively, but, you know, with somebody standing on Magni's shoulders, you can kind of do a little stack uh, to be able to reach the key because it's worn as a necklace. Holding the mirror the up, pyramid. Um, you can easily kind of take the key off of the statue. It's made of the same material as the orb. And uh, you now have a doorknob and a key. We then make our way back upstairs to our, our new little knight friend. All right. So, I don't know. Hello, friend. We found your key and door. And we still have the magic word. Well, no magic word required. But it's um, just polite. Well, you already said it then. Uh, if you want to know anything about what this door guy is, it is Arcana or Crafting. Hey, it's your boy over here. I got Crafting. No, yeah, I'm tired of rolling that plus one modifier. I'll just. <laughs> I've also got so Arcana. Fun. Can I can I roll both if I have both? It'll get you the same information. Okay, then Crafting it is. Whichever one is um, better. Let's see, Hannah Moore, You're not really sure what this is, um, but TikTok. This is a door warden. Um, door wardens were originally invented by the elves, but oh. essentially they resemble ornate doors made entirely of steel or mithril. Um, and when trespassers try to force their way past, they transform into a skilled and sturdy soldier bearing its door like a tower shield. Cool. Oh. So they literally will guard doors and, and beat people down if they try to break through, uh, through doors. TikTok resists the urge to want to dismantle them and figure out how they work. He would be very unhappy if you tried I, to dismantle them. Yes, because yeah. he'd be very unhappy and, you know, probably destroy me. Putting the uh, the key and, the, sorry, putting the doorknob into the little hole for doorknob and the key into the keyhole and turning it, um, he easily steps aside and lets you through to the real door, which is just a simple wooden door. Okay. All right, we'll be ready for anything. Okay, bye. Have fun. <laughs> oh, uh, could you tell so us what's on the other side of this door? The store's got more personality than I'm used to in constructs. Is there any the other side of here? this door is the crux of infinity. Oh, well, that's what exactly that? what we're looking for. It's a device. What does it do? I don't know. I'm a door. Well, kind of. Fair enough. Well, let's go get into. We go All open right. the door. 
can go to open the door and we're going to take this moment for a little break. So we're going to take a 10 minute break. We will be back at 30 past the hour. Feel free to go ahead and make your donations supporting Jasper's game day and suicide prevention using Tiltify and, you know, maybe give these guys some, some hero points, or you can give me a villain point, which would be really fun too. Uh, I do want to say, uh, looks like uh, Finder Paths and Stars did give you a villain point. So, <gasps> thank you, buddy. Yikes. All right, I'm maybe gonna the, remember. Maybe the next right. thing we will last I was gonna say that combat round. was too short for him. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> All right, guys, where are our path folk? Come on, Finder knew cause. what was up and gave it to me. Okay, but we are taking our ten minute break, so we'll be right back.
All right, we are back. So just a little quick summary for those of you that might've joined us. We are here playing for Jasper's game day, raising money for suicide prevention. Feel free to donate using the Tiltify link and you can benevolent, benevolently give our players or your GM hero points. You can have them get items. Just make sure you specify what you want to happen. And you know we might see if we can have that happen. Um, when last we left off, you know, like 10 minutes ago, um, the group of poppets searching for their mentor Inda had solved a puzzle, found a creepy clock tower, figured out the island's time was frozen, not all in that order, and discovered something to do with Shika and the Fae and time is happening here. They have bypassed the door warden by finding the magical doorknob and key and are just about to open the door into a room that contains the quote crux of infinity whatever that is oh. so who's opening the door also we're all puppets i couldn't remember if you mentioned that oh yes also everyone is puppets yep. <laughs> and, we're joined, puppets. and we're joined by yeah, a theme. small dog fluffy. a little toy dog ridden by a little toy, toy uh, gunslinger yes yeah well, i'll I make suppose... my way up to the door oh, oh never mind. unless you'd rather go i I figured I would because uh, Piper's very into finding her master. So I figured she's just oh. shoving you all out of the way. <laughs> all right. I just Piper like to be helpful everybody. and lift open heavy things. All right, everybody. Like uh, I'm assuming we're all happy with these kind of positions. Yep. Yes. All yeah, right. That's good. Very good. So you open the door and inside you find the same wild tile only done in blues and golds uh, as well as you know statues lining the walls but before you can take in much else uh you are greeted is not the right word by a trio of purple reddish purple kobolds. people eaters sorry mm. <laughs> <laughs> they sneer at you through their little shark like faces because i think second edition kobolds look like sharks and Double the lead matters. one, or at least the one that's talking, you think it might be the lead one, says, no trespassing. We're not no. trespassing. Trespassers, you will interrupt our mistress in her work. But we're not trespassing. We had a key. I and didn't get a key. I don't know about this key. But we had it. We had a key. That's the door. The door can vouch for us. I don't know this door. We, uh, we don't we don't have anything we need to do maybe in this room. I'm not entirely positive. You can just direct us to the next door. We'll just make our way by. Uh, we, we don't want to. In fact, actually, we're very helpful individuals. Perhaps we could assist you with whatever's going on. No, you will leave. You cannot go past the curtain. You see that there's a big golden curtain that kind of divides this little portion of room off from whatever's beyond. We are uh, not we leaving go behind the curtain. without our mentor. Uh, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. Is is your mistress Inda? No. Who is that? Uh, she's the one who made the clock tower. Our mistress is the dragon. The dragon Kidinzara. Oh, well, I've never met a dragon before. That would be interesting. And You're not never meeting one today. Dragon. She is busy. You will, you will make an appointment. Oh, can we make an appointment then? No. Right I don't now. have a calendar. Well, oh. you just said we could make an appointment, and then you say we can't make an appointment. That's just rude. 
Who who has the caliber? <laughs> leave. They all Thanks. kind of start ch- chanting, leave, 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 leave. I would like to talk to your manager, please. No. Um, we're we're okay. not leaving. Uh oh. We, we don't want this part. to resort to violence. Um be for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Their eyes go all red. <laughs> they go all red. Uh, she hugs they're... herself and it turns red. Oh, man. It's and the thus... kill mode engaged. <laughs> and thus we get into combat. Yes. Oh, my. With the trio uh, of kobold guardians. Kobolds. All right, let's do this. Quick and painful. Oh. oh. Poor Truman. Oh. Uh, that's okay somebody gave me a villain point slash a hero point for the gm so i will be prepared to use it come on pat Paul, give us something um we did get hero another points. donation so let me give i have everybody. two uh, i think i've got one. Oh, you have one i have none I have <laughs> well i think two. at the very beginning we all got an extra hero point everyone somebody got bought one, one for everyone point. oh did we oh then i still have one tiktok you me. get an extra hero point from the audience yay i have two now all right, so let me put on some combat music. Cue the music. And we will begin. Piper, you are first. Um, then I shall step forward. Uh... They wield staffs in your direction, like big sticks with like fancy jewels on top. Hold on, let me make sure. Back. I could sudden charge, but I don't think it's necessary. Yep, I will just uh, step forward if I can remember how this works. Space to move. Yeah. What? No. Close. Why is it dealing damage to Viper? No. <laughs> Throw it again by technology. I, can, I cannot take an action while the game is currently paused. The, oh, my uh, bad, my the... B. That's on me. <laughs> oh, that's on me. For the for the find the path listeners who often ask us about what do we edit out? <laughs> yes. We edit for episodes. Lots of this. <laughs> this. Lots of this. Okay, uh, I shall step forward to the closest. Uh, uh, my brain totally blanked. Kobold, uh, Inman, I believe, Kobold. is Inman. their name. Um, and with my gigantic sword, I am going to strike at thee. How uh, dare you, intruder! Ooh, Ouch! Wow. Critical the little man. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, Poor little kobold. You wield your gigantic sword directly into his shoulder. Okay, Let's see then... how deeply you cut. And you said critical? Yeah, you critical. So I just clicked the critical button, you guess? Yes. Indeed. Yep. Ouch. Oh, I did that private on accident. That was definitely Everyone private. Everyone else can understand. Ouch. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, wow. oh, I did 32 points of damage. You do not cut him in half, but you Ooh. almost do. Ooh. He looks bad. Inman shrieks. Ah! Are you sure you don't want to let us into the next room? I said no. Then I'm gonna finish him. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm giving. I'm gonna intimidate. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna intimidate. <laughs> okay. Uh, where is my my thing? Ah, because I have a plus ten intimidation. Ah, nice. twenty seven to intimidate. Dang. Yeah. Nice. Um, Inman shivers a little bit and almost drops his staff, but doesn't quite. Ah! I mean, he's scared. He's intimidated. <laughs> he's just not, like, running away. Okay. Well, I, I moved up, I swung, and I intimidated, so I think that's my three. Indeed. All right. That brings us to Ryder. Ryder is the speaker of the group. Um, Ryder is going to uh, waggle his little fingers at you and uh, cast a magic missile. Ooh, he's going to oh. do a magic trick. Magic. Yes. <laughs> we are doing a 
heightened second level magic missile. Oh my. Which oh, I, I did just things. chop their friend almost in half. I mean. <laughs> Let's see. You shoot one additional missile with each action you spend. One, two, three. Plus a number. Plus three. All right. Here we go, buddy. He pew pews you for nine. Pew 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 pew. Demos. And that is him. You could just let us go in the next room. No. We then you're all going to be on the floor. We like the floor. Where do you think we came from? I'd be dead on the floor. How dare you, little... Are you a dog? A, a bear? What are you? TikTok. Is I'm a puppet. Ah. All right, I, I got some hero points. Let's do something cool. All right, so <laughs> TikTok activates his... Uh, his thing and activates the explosive leap button as you hear like a tick, 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 and he slams it on the ground before flying into the air. Oh, I no. have to do a crafting check, DC 17. Wild. Oh, sorry, okay. flat check, DC 17. That's even worse. So, um, oh, that's much worse. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes! I don't even take any damage for it, unstable. Uh, doing wow. so, I fly through the air. He's like flipping like twenty times, and uh, he's gonna land. Uh, you know, I'll land right there. Boop. <laughs> the the kobold next to you, Truman, of course, uh, kind of blinks at you a bunch of times. That's uh, that's one action to do that. Wow, <laughs> love that. So uh, I will I will megaton strike Truman. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'm loving this right now. Um, all right, here we go. 31 to hit Truman. Wow. wow. Uh, yeah, you you critical Truman. Oh, no, Truman. This is going to be bad for him. My weapon is non-lethal. I want to be very clear about that. I spent I spent stuff to get it non-lethal. Oh! Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh, my ah. God. Wow. Uh, you straight up knock him onto the ground, and he is unconscious. Yay! That's one way to do it. <laughs> Poor Truman. What'd he ever do to you? <laughs> he wouldn't let us pass. He wouldn't let me pass. <laughs> and my See, creator is in danger, maybe, sort of. Yeah, I'm like, internally, like, I'm like, oh, poor kobolds. Like, I really don't want to be fighting them. But my character is like, no, must get mentor. It is non-lethal, <laughs> though, so there's that. The mine was. Uh, he is just unconscious. Do you have any actions remaining? Oh, no, that was all three actions. All right. Inman <laughs> is very unhappy. Um... And becomes invisible. Cast a spell, becomes invisible. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. So. Yep. And, uh, so <laughs> that is what it is. Yep. Uh, so I didn't ever specify it. Would um, would I've, I have had a chance to reload since the last combat? I imagine so. Okay. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so I will um, again use my free action one shot one kill um, and then just make an attack uh, with a harmona gun and does the harmona gun sound like a harmonica <laughs> um, it does make like the, the the rounds make like a buzzing sound that is <laughs> similar to a um, some type of insect called a called a harmona in Arcadia, actually. So, oh, that's cool. Cool. Yeah, uh, that's a twenty-two to hit. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to my hero points for that. So, uh, it does hit. It does hit, Ryder. Okay. Oh, I did not mean to roll critical dice. Uh, so half of that. Uh, it looks like your first dice was a ten. So. 10 plus 2, 12. 12 damage. Ouch. Uh, Ryder looks way over at you and it's like, is that an action figure? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm an action figure. Um, and I'm going to shoot you again. <laughs> and we'll. <laughs> uh, this I time feel bullets. This hurts. We'll uh, go ahead and reload just single action reload and um 
I don't have anywhere to get a covered reload, unfortunately. So um, we'll just go ahead and fire that second attack. Ouch. Ooh, uh, nice. The fires, that hits uh, Ryder again, who again is just astounded that the toy gun is injuring them. <laughs> <laughs> you can surrender. I don't know why I'm suddenly talking like handle over, but I was. <laughs> 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 uh, right. Man, Ryder looks injured, but it's still standing. All right. Maggie. That is the end of my turn. All right. <clears throat> So before we begin my turn, I just want to ask, did anyone else play Super Mario RPG for the Super Nintendo back in the day? Yes. Yes. You know Gino from that? That is all Absol I picture with your character. Just tiny little doll that <laughs> raises up a hand and little gun shoots out of your fingertip. Anyway. <laughs> God, that game was amazing. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and do a quick step. So I'm just going to step forward into the room. I'll use another action to go ahead and assume my mountain stance and let's double check. Yep. So I enter my mountain stance and then I'm going to go ahead and flurry of blows. So I'll make my two attacks against this guy. And these are also non-lethal. All right. So first strike. Mountain stance. Go. 18 will not strike. Yeah, I was trying to decide if I want to hero point that. Yeah, why not? So let's go ahead Only and hero point once. that. <laughs> it's true. Maybe some some person oh, out there will take there pity go. on hey, me. Nice. Uh, 31. <sighs> that critical's rider. <laughs> <laughs> go team. <laughs> team one round. All Ow. right. So 20 points of damage from that punch. Ouch. You punch him in the head, and he is still standing, but he is woozy. All right. Here comes the second Ways. flurry hit. Wait, you stepped in the mountain stance and then... Oh, flurry. Flurry, yes. Yeah, okay. Single. 26 uh, definitely hits. Ooh. And let's follow that up with just a little bit of damage. All right. You swing out again. And knock him out. Knock him out cold. He slides across the floor a little bit and lands in a heap on top of his uh, friend. Ooh, this could have been avoided if you carried a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> I, why do they talk about setting appointments and not have calendars? I, I don't know. It's, it's a very bad organization. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're not very organized. I mean, they could yes. have been temporary hires. You don't know. It's true. Oh, I feel really bad Tim. if these are just contracts. Anyway. Uh, Piper, there's another one somewhere, but they're invisible. This is your last and final chance. Either you surrender now, or I cut you in half. And then uh, I suppose Piper will start moving toward the gold curtain. Okay. I don't know where it is, because I see a giant shadow. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm assuming that you're going to open the curtain. So you move and you open. That's two actions. Let me get my wall device. Boop. Uh, it opens the rest of the room. You can see that there is a raised area that has some sort of mechanical contraption. Uh, it almost looks like an astronomical clock or something. Um, you see that the statues along the walls continue around into the space. And then there's something around the corner, but you can't quite see it. Whoever did oh, the tiling in this um, room, I approve. A big, oh, a big dragon <laughs> um, working um, furiously on this clock device and muttering to themselves, completely oblivious to this fight that's happening over here. Remember when we talked before about... Um room descriptions burying the lead yeah yep. <laughs> yep. 100% this hey guys there is a dragon um but I I don't think they know we're here are you pointing out the dragon with your third action yes all right <laughs> tiktok there's a dragon um, good gracious. Um, 
Can we just skirt around the edge and not even bother the dragon? I was gonna say. Um, so, so did she pull down the curtain? Can we all see into the room now? Yeah, I'm imagining that she kind of yanked the curtain. It was held up like with a couple of nails, like thumbtacks almost. So it was pretty <laughs> oh, easy I to see. pull down. Uh, okay, um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a seek action to try to see if I can tell where the uh, the invisible kobold is, because I, I feel like. Yeah, I, I feel like I want to find them before they maybe tell the dragon there's intruders. Okay, what's No, direction? they didn't seem to want to bother the dragon. Well, I mean, that was before we attacked them, so, you know. All right, uh, so right, are you so doing a cone action. or a radius around yourself? Uh, let's go in a radius around me. Okay, go ahead and make your secret perception. Oh, you think they're somewhere over here? Okay, um... So in I have that to case, keep suppressing my urge to like anytime you're like I move there or over here, I've got that audio urge where I'm just like, ah. <laughs> uh, so this I'll take a five foot step thing. to that square and then I'm going to attack them. I assume I have a fifty percent miss chance. Is that how that works in second edition? I believe it's a flat check. Yeah, flat, flat checks. Flat check. Okay, so let me see if I hit them. All right, so thirteen will get through the miss chance yeah, and then. Can. Nice. I'm gonna. Well, I gotta strike them. Well, okay. You could hit them potentially. I'm gonna potentially try to hit them. Ooh. Twenty nine. <laughs> you critical because they are so <laughs> scared of the puppet uh, stuffed <laughs> No, I feel so bad. <laughs> my weapon is non-lethal. Oh Hi. my lord! <laughs> Over here rolling elevens and twelves on those. I mean, 12s. I didn't think. I didn't think I was building such a. <laughs> Very hurdy character. You have uh, knocked out the um, last kobold who eventually becomes visible, but is unconscious. Hmm. Hey, good news, guys. I got him. <laughs> oh, the, the dragon looks like they, they could use some help. Perhaps no, we should no. go and assist. <laughs> just, 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 just. No. I'm just saying. Time appears to be broken, and this dragon looks to be fixing something. I think that there's I a... I say we leave the dragon alone for the moment, come back to it. I just Three dragon is much bigger people. than his. We need to find Inda. So as you uh, maybe take a second to, to scope out the rest of this room, mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of things that are interesting. Um... There are a total of 13 carved statues uh, in alcoves along the walls. Hmm. Each of them look like a different depiction of Shika, uh, different features, different ancestries, but all wearing the same robes with hourglasses on them. In the far corner to the kind of the northwest, or sorry, the northeast, is what looks like some sort of broken circle with runes and stone. Um, it's like fragmented almost uh, in the center where this staircase these two staircases lead into a uh, like a raised area that has that machine on it um, you can hear kind of unpleasant ticks and whirs and hums uh, the sound of obviously malfunctioning machinery the dragon herself is not like any dragon you've seen um, she has swirling purple scales and a slight glowing halo around her spine-crowned head. Her wings ripple like gossamer lit by, lit by moonlight. Uh, and strangely, some of her scales look pristine, and others look weathered and worn as though they're different ages. In fact, some of her spines look ancient, and some of her spines look like she's a baby dragon. Um, and she continues to kind of grumble to herself, craftsmen, tinkerers, amateurs. Um, she has like a little toolkit open next to her and she's like got these little tiny uh, pince nez glasses on the bridge of her dragon nose as she like looks at this tiny intricate machinery that she has open. Uh, you don't see Inda anywhere. Mm. Uh, excuse me. Map? We're like not talking to the dragon. Uh, I would like to speak to the dragon. All right. Um, the dragon Don't worry, glances I'm, I'm, up. I'm flame proof. Don't worry. Uh, looks over. You should have identified her first. 
If you have Arcana, I, you can. I, I really want. To, I really want to know <laughs> what kind of dragon is going to destroy us. Okay, go ahead okay, and do Arcana, Arcana check, people. and then we'll we'll do some some chatting. I didn't roll that as blind. Um, you did not. Um, you think this is a dragon? Uh, TikTok. You think this is a time dragon? Well, you don't know a lot about time dragons, but you know that they are the most powerful of outer dragons. So they're often watchers and waiters that guard the universe against anyone who would interfere with the natural temporal order. Um, I mean, they can travel in the vacuum of space. They can, as they get older, uh, stop time. They can travel to any point in time a total of three times in their lifespan. Um, but you don't really remember anything specific as far as like strengths, weaknesses. You think that they breathe electricity? Sometimes. Oh, well. TikTok she, will just like rattle that off real quick. She looks down. Actually, she looks across, sees nothing, looks further down, finally sees you, because she is, of course, a large sized dragon. Um, and peers down, snaps her jaws a couple of times in annoyance, and then waggles her pliers in your direction. More mortals here to tamper with time. The last one nearly reset all the time, I suggest. That you leave immediately. How did oh. you even get here? She glances and sees her unconscious slash dead uh, minions. Oh, just unconscious. Well, there's one that's dead. <laughs> oh. oh, we made an appointment. Deception check. A point. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this can end poorly. <laughs> um, I don't have a calendar. There are no appointments. <laughs> well, the cobalt said we can make an appointment. <sighs> but That's I'll, I'll see you got all the time for appointments. So, like, I'm, why not? I'm, hmm. uh, I, I'm Magni. These are my friends, uh, Hannah Lore, TikTok, and Piper. Piper Troubles. I am Kedinsera. Kedinsera. Mm. Yes. Well, we I am seem very busy. We, we, we don't we, we don't want to you know bother you or anything but I think we're looking for the person who may have broken your time what the Gobu. Yes. yes 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 I took care of her she won't oh. be doing that again what, did, what, what does that mean what does that mean we need to find her oh uh, I put her in my maze box C can maze we have her box. back no I'm busy. I have to fix this. And Can if you don't leave, I'll this? have to eat you or something. Actually, you all look disgusting. I don't want to eat you. Um, I need a fluff. You can't eat me. I have to bat you around like some sort of cat or... How did you even get in here? Time is frozen in this region. You're not frozen. We had no, a key. No. She moves closer to all of you and like peers way, way down. Like, hmm. Curious. Hello? So perhaps we can assist you with your problem and then you can then assist us with our problem. And then everyone wins. She glances over at her hands. dead kobold friends slash unconscious kobolds. They're unconscious. We didn't we didn't do anything bad to any of them. Fine. If you can be useful and we can fix this, then maybe, maybe I'll release your Inda person. I am nothing if not useful and rock hmm. well you are small your hands are going to be easier and better equipped at uh manipulating this little machine over here so Tick here's how this is going to work TikTok you can forward. convince her to release inda when you have essentially made her um friendly uh but we're going to use a, a system called influence points Okay. And so cool. you need six influence points. You can earn influence points a bunch of different ways. Um, some suggested ways are to, you know, you could straight up just be really cute and charming and use diplomacy. You can help her with a crafting check. You could do athletics to kind of carry stuff or hand her tools. 
Um, you could do a performance check just to kind of be the entertainment while she's working. I, I um, can give her light. You could give her light. You could do a fever <laughs> check to help like with the little dainty pieces of the clock device. Uh, so you let me know what you want to do and then um, we'll make some checks and you can earn some points. Uh, you'll get one for succeeding, two for critically succeeding and minus one for losing. Also, um, Velcor gives everyone a hero point, each player. Uh, Ethelden oh. gives Jordan oh, wow. a hero point and Yay. Rick a hero point and Heidi Thank a hero you. point I'm and up. Rachel a hero point and yeah. me a villain point. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Ethelden. I mean, it's fair, <laughs> but... Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Velcor. And then Angel says hi Thank to Heidi. All. Oh, Hi, okay. Angel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I was going diplomacy, but you just mentioned athletics, and I am much yeah. better at being strong. I, yes. I am too. I can do strength, and I can and I can Aziz light. <laughs> I, I will do crafting because I was already working on some of the schematics for this, and also that's my highest skill. And are these uh, blind or public roles? Uh, these do not have to be uh, blind because you're going to earn points for them anyway. So you're going to know. So they okay. can be public. Uh, go ahead and let's do our first round. Let me know what you are doing. So let's start. Um, let's start with TikTok. What is TikTok doing? Describe TikTok, what you are. TikTok just her. starts like uh, like chatting with her and being like, okay, so what do you want me to do here? And then like reaching his hand in and like, you know, twisting things or like trying to move gears and oh, you know, yes, yes. try to that fix one. it. Turn it counterclockwise 18 degrees. Mm, yes. Oh, and someone says that uh, that point they gave you, Jess, was for produce a helpful item i don't oh. know helpful item healing potion oh nice Ooh. the party has a healing potion although you haven't actually been hurt <laughs> yeah we've been very uh, efficient. I, I, have... uh, I was gonna say to, uh, technically oh. i could spend some some time pi uh fixing up piper but you have a bunch of potions yeah. yeah i'm okay i'm not down by much i'm doing okay he does that. He TikTok does Hold this thing where he like he, he opens up and he has like a little needle and a little thread. That's like his med kit. <laughs> we, we may we may need it if things go very poorly with this dragon. I mean, yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right. I did get twenty seven. Uh, TikTok succeeds. You get one point. Yay! So the party now has one point to lose. I don't know why that is not in English. Sorry, that was bad. Nope, that's not in comedy. <laughs> 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 <Nope, laughs> At least whatever that number is isn't the butt symbol we saw earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes fairies like to we write can mention butts. that. We're PG thirteen rating. We can mention that. <laughs> it's oh, butts. Man. It's fine. All right. So uh, excellent. So TikTok is helping uh, manipulate items. And oh, the item was for Heidi. So Heidi has a question. Um, oh, Piper, what are you, what are you doing? How are you being helpful? Um, is producing light for them helpful? You know, like when you hold a flashlight into the machine, I can just turn my eyes on. Give me an athletics or an acrobatics check to balance so that you can angle the right, the light correctly. Okay, those are both the same. I'll, I'll go for acrobatics just to, to change it up a little. Just to be different. Excellent. Very just fun. Just to be different. That's right. Hey, not Ooh. bad. Rolled a 14 for a 25. All right. Yep. Piper helps you shine the light just the right place, and you don't shine it in the dragon's eye, so she's very happy about this. All right, so you have two points, so let's roll around to um, Magni. All right. Um yeah, I'd be happy to just go around and hold up things for extremely long periods of time as I'm very good at staying very still and holding heavy things. So Excellent. I'm thinking athletics for that. <laughs> perfect, perfect. She has Boom. you hold up her uh, toolbox. Mm, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and hero point that because why not? I've got yeah, it. I was going to say 10. that does not pass. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, mark off a hero point there and try that again. <laughs> oh, oh that that does that worse. Worse. Uh, yeah. you shift it's just a fortunate effect you can't use too yep. Uh, yep. yep hold on oh so sad the sad confetti <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. excellent 
All right. So I'm you very didn't hurt tired. the party. You just didn't help. Um, so that's something. And then we're over to Hydalon. No, this is Hanalore. Hanalore. <laughs> You're so used to playing with me on Discord. I know. Like, Discord yeah, Hydalon. <laughs> A lot of H's uh, happening. Yeah. Um, Hanalore is going to get in there, like down in the gears uh, and just kind of go wherever, wherever uh cadenzra needs her to go uh, and we'll use thievery to to manipulate ah, okay. and and help out there so excellent um do 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 nice. yeah you certainly help um you don't critically help but you do help so that brings you up to a total of three she seems happy so far um she hasn't bitten any of you or you know <laughs> crushed you under her you know gigantic claws not um yet. so so far so good let's let's head back around TikTok. uh do you want to continue doing the same do you yep. want to do something else we're going to continue crafting 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 wow nice. okay. all y'all needed was a bunch of hero points because apparently it's like a just a dice. plethora was all we needed <laughs> uh you don't critically help but you do help so you're up to four yay getting there getting there Helping. i feel like a skittermander right now i know it's very skittermandery of you um uh, piper I will continue to shine my light. <laughs> this little light of yours. Little this light little of light yours. of Piper's. 27 with a 16. Man, okay, that. yeah. Nice. Y'all are just boss moding this. We're just all we terrified. Are. It's of like we were, we were made to, <laughs> to help fix clockwork things. We are I feel like I made helpful. the DC too easy. Uh, and it's up to map me, I believe. Ugh. My dice spin all over the place, so let's see what happens. Oh, oh no! No! no. no. Oh, yeah. 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 Point. <laughs> it can't get any worse, at least. Oh, God, it's the last one. All right, let's see what happens. It's still not a pass. Yeah. But at least you didn't take a point away. It's true. All right. I'm uh, just sitting there, like, crushing beams with my bare hands. Yeah, Maggie's just like, this is too delicate of work. I'm, you know, I'm, not, very, I'm not very good at finesse. <laughs> <laughs> agile my hands are agile weapons but not good at finesse for, for beating things. technically they're finesse too anyway. weapons not tools <laughs> uh, answer, just like why don't you just move she gives you some ra- go move that rock over there back and forth i used to just <laughs> standing in gardens holding bowls over my head for birds yeah anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but i spent my pre puppet existence ass I miss the birds. Um, I miss the birds. Oh, right, they tormented work. me so. Right. Do the same thing. Oh no! <laughs> I'm okay. also going to be using a hero point. All right, here we go. Now we're using those hero points. Um, do, do. Save us, chat, and your infinite well of hero points. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, six. <laughs> Great. So you get her to, uh, you know, she's about halfway. She seems yeah. happy. Uh, she looks down at all of you and she says, all right, you're all very helpful. What yes. do you want to know? Where's Inda? Or how, how how do we get our Inda back? We need our Inda. I release her from my maze box. Yes. How, how do you we do make that, that happen? Piece? It's a secret. Okay, but how how do how do we get well, the if, secret? What if you do it and we just all turn our backs, and then yes. we won't know the secret? Yes, this is fine. This I can okay. do. Yes, turn around. All, all you have you. to do is ask politely. Just kind of you know pats Piper on the on the back. TikTok gets like the tiniest little hand mirror out and like puts it up to the edge of his eyes so that he can kind of see what's going on. If I if I learned anything from being a bird bath, it's that a little bit of honey brings out the uh, the hummingbirds, not vinegar. All right, give me a thievery or a deception check for that. Oh no, I don't want to actually do it if I have to roll for it. No. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> handle or handle yeah. or absolutely no. <laughs> I've only got a one in, in both of those, and that's not good. Huh. All right, you turn uh you turn away, and she spends a moment. Uh clicks open a thing does a thing there's like a magic like whirring noise 
Um, and then all of a sudden there's like a pop and Inda hops out and is there and looks at all of you. Well, never in a hundred years would I have guessed you'd all come out here. Look at you taking all that initiative. You were gone for two days. Two. Oh, two days. It felt like forever. I was just in a, a maze with doors and there were more doors and then there were doors after that. TikTok runs over and hugs her in her anklets, like full on, like, you know, monkey cuddle, like yeah. <laughs> using legs and arms. <laughs> well, she's also small. So she's. <laughs> oh, 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 she's small sized. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> then I All cannot, right. I cannot do that. All right. And she turns and she looks at the dragon. She pats, pats you and hugs you and whatnot. And she turns and looks at the dragon and says, oh, well, mm, thank you for letting me out of that box. I, uh. I understand that I made some mistakes with that there clock, but I would really like to be able to redeem my good name as a wonder crafter. The dragon like stares down at Inda for a long moment. Mm, No, 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 you can't touch this. This is not for you. You can leave, leave or back in the box. Oh. What is it? Uh, Kedinsura looks over at Piper. Uh, This is the crux of infinity. It, uh, sorry, that's in his voice. It was mm, created by followers of Shaika and they used it to look across time and space in order to better understand the threads of time, et cetera, et cetera. It's been broken for like uh, 300 years or something, which is nice because I was getting very tired of babysitting it to make sure they didn't ruin everything because mortals ruin everything, really, honestly. Um, And then this one came along and she kind of motions to Enda, started mixing with it, made some sort of mistake, got some wires crossed, put us all in a temporal stasis. And then I came back in, you know, as is my way and trying to fix this blunder. She could have reset the entire timeline she could have closed the door to the future permanently she could have created a temporal loop there were a thousand things she could have done so why don't you just leave it broken if it's you know dangerous like that i was leaving it broken she tried to fix it she broke it in a worse way and now i have to i can't leave a temporal stasis like sphere here that defies how time is supposed to work Huh. Let's see. So you're some sort of um, time cop. <laughs> time yes. <laughs> yes. I uh, I have been known as such. We had uniforms once. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they were dashing. They were a little retro, really. Ah. Ooh. Anyway, back go around. along. Away. Nice to meet you, but also I hope I never see you again. Go, go. Could, could we maybe help in any way? And we're very helpful. Perhaps taking a central component and throw it into the sea. Who are all the people in the alcoves? Oh, those are shikas. Just a bunch of shikas. Like, could you could you tell me how shika works exactly? I know that there's like a bunch of there's multiple shikas all at the same time in different times, but like, could you explain that better? Because it kind of is hard for my head to understand. Okay. TikTok pulls out his notes. <laughs> so. There's only really one Shika at any given time, but time isn't as straight and linear as mortals always think of it. It's more of a Jeremy Baramy timey wimey type of a thing. <laughs> All right, so Shika is a time lord confirmed. It's, it's more of a rug, really. Yes, with a lot of threads and weaving and whatnot. Um, so in this specific point in time, Shika is one thing or one type of person. And, you know, two minutes from now, it could be a different type of person. Um, but typically only one Shika at any given point of time. But that would mean that there are an infinity conjunction of, of Shikas. Yes. Does this not make sense? This is just very normal stuff on the dimension of time. I don't know about you mortals, but this is just very normal stuff. TikTok like, like looks at Inda and sees if Inda like understands any of this. 
Inda has been sneaking over to the device while Kid and Sarah's talking and is just about to reach in when Kid and Sarah roars in anger. Oh, Uh-oh. no. I said no. Uh, but Inda's already like in there trying to work on stuff. So we're going to have to roll initiative. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Ooh. and uh... gosh dang it, Inda. Oh, because and, uh, Inda we're so oh, no. has a compulsion which requires her to fix broken things. I oh, know this no. compulsion. <laughs> I feel like TikTok got a little bit of that rubbed off on him. <laughs> oh, well, we tried. Oh, hey, oh hey, that wasn't us. That wasn't you. That was me. <laughs> I'm fine oh. with this. Dragon fight. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Dragon fight, dragon fight. <laughs> and I, I have a I hero want point. I a dragon. How did all of us not roll a natural one and still roll lower than the dragon? Jeez. She is a very cool creature. Yep. All right. I haven't begun the encounter. Magni actually gets first initiative. Yep. All right. Here we go. So the dragon has roared. Inda is essentially here. She's not going to, she's a non combatant. Um, <laughs> And so she'll be kind of over here doing her own thing. All right. Uh, I really don't want to do this, but um, oh, well. Can we not just drag into out of this machine and get her out of here? Let me go ahead and get a will save from you since you are within 90 feet of this dragon. Will save from me, you say? Indeed. Let me move myself back there real quick. And let's go ahead and throw that will save out. (laughs) Mm-hmm. you are you succeed um but you are right. frightened one so for this okay. round you'll have frightened one mm. it will go away at the uh end of the round i believe all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh step my way forward and i'll go ahead and mountain stance again and I'll punch. My Excellent. slightly though, you know what? I'll flurry of blows. I'll punch twice. Mm. Punch. Nice, Ooh. nice. That Boom. will strike does not critical. All right. Oh my! It's gonna make this difficult. That would be non-lethal, but not that it matters too much at this early stage. I don't think ten points of damage is gonna take her down. It is uh, not. Let me see. So you you wallop her in the foot? Hooper in the snoot? No. <laughs> you, you step on her toe. You step I'll on her toe try really hard. Uh, a second punch here with my flurry. All right. And on the back punch, you go wide as she kind of moves out of the way just in time. Just in time, Dragon. <laughs> All right. That brings us to the dragon, which will take herself uh, a little move action, <clears throat> a little move action back. Uh, kind of away from all of you. And then she will breathe oh uh actually when she steps back let me go ahead and kick in my reaction here Ooh. and i'm gonna go ahead and throw a standstill out so uh creature oh nice move, move action to leave a square i will strike at my foe as they attempt to flee all right let's see so strike oh, <laughs> oh nice oh, yeah. I could not have asked for that to work better. So uh, I strike hit if the attack is a critical hit and the trigger was a move action. You disrupt that action. Yeah, so she's not moving. So let me Um, go ahead and throw that damage out while I'm at it. Yeah, do that. Shaboom. Yeah. Ouch. Owie. She. I'm I'm sorry. She looks out at you with disdain. And breathes anyway. She just won't catch Hanalore. Uh, It's a 30 foot cone. She breathes out. I will need uh, everyone. <clears throat> I will need everyone to make a will save because she chooses not to do electricity and instead to do something called shifting time. Ooh. 
The sands of time wash over hero point you. That. Do I need to hero point? I don't know. I'm actually I'm, out of hero points. I'm definitely hero uh -oh. pointing that one. Um, how, do you, how do we re-roll hero points? I forget. Uh, you should just right click and then uh, re-roll. Yeah, right click on the hero result. points right underneath your character's name on your character sheet. Okay, that's just, just roll it again. It. Okay. Yeah, uh, it just moves in. You roll it again. All right. Uh, we'll save. So far, no one has saved. Oh, then I will use a hero point. I saved! <laughs> Yay for me! All right, TikTok Perfect has 20. saved. You critically save, in fact. Yeah. You do. You do. Good for okay. you. Okay. Okay. I, I I, used a hero point and I rerolled. I got a 29 that time. <laughs> All right. So here's what we got. So TikTok, the sand washes over you. You feel nothing. Uh, everything's fine. I'm metal. Um, Piper, the sand washes over you. You're mostly unaffected. You do succeed. But you will be slowed one as you almost feel it's like you had to use your mental fortitude not to be pushed out of the timeline. Magni, you are thrown forward in time one round, but this oh. means is essentially you disappear from the Whoa. physical area and you reappear in one round. So at the end wow. of the dragon's next turn, you appear again. Oof. Oh, well. At least I got to use Ouch. my cool reaction. I know. You did it. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. <laughs> All right. And, uh, yep, that's her. That's her. Hanalore, this wow. dragon just breathed on your friends. <laughs> uh, where, where the, what the, what the heck did you do to Magni? Bring Magni back. Um, <laughs> It'll be back when the time is right. <laughs> uh, uh, the stars align. Hanalore is going to take will a will say from Hanalore. For being in the Whoa. scary dragon's place. Yes, yes. Um, saves will roll. Saves will roll. Saves will roll. That is not a success. Yeah. Uh, um, might have hero points. I do have hero points. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, re roll that. Is there a. Oh. oh no! I know Ouch. that feeling. Uh, yeah. You are frightened too. Okay. Mm. Uh, so you fail. You're scared. You're frightened too. All right. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use the one shot, one kill again to get that d6 that I keep forgetting to roll, and then we'll move <laughs> myself. Yeah, definitely do that. Uh, thirty feet. Um. to over here um, and will while I'm running I'm going to do a running reload uh, and turn around and uh, fire uh, the Harmona gun the, the bullet hums as it aims straight for no I'm too scared it's not working uh, you fire the general direction but you do not land a hit yep um I'm going to go ahead and because there's a 20 on every die. Oh, wait, no, because I need to. <sighs> Nothing to take cover with. Uh, OK, uh, just, just a regular a You could probably hide behind the, the lip of this raised platform. You are pretty small. Is it is it high? Because um... it's like a five foot up thing. Is it small enough that I could reasonably fire over it if I'm standing next to it? You could be on a step. And then and it would be. And then and take cover on the step. Yeah. Because the okay. step's about like a foot up or something, and you're like a foot tall, so if you crouched behind it a little seems reasonable. If you're okay with me retroactively moving myself, let's say here and that doing a covered fine. reload. Um, that seems I, fine. So you take cover behind the first step off this platform. Yep. Um uh, so I'm gonna take cover and interact to reload, and that will be my turn. All right. TikTok, the dragon done punched your friend out of time. Wow. Um. Yeah. That that straight happened. Um. <laughs> well, time to activate the uh, the spanner and uh, megaton strike. <laughs> so here we go. Oh goodness. I'm gonna hero point that. Okay. 
I was gonna say that does not hit. <laughs> yeah. Where have all the good rolls gone? That happens. Uh oh, there, there we go. That's a thirty. That hits. Yay! Here damage. we go. Yeah, you rocket. Oh, that was you poor, rocket poor axe damage. into her. <laughs> <laughs> non lethally rocket, rocket axe into her. Non lethally was... boop her with the rocket axe. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then I guess I'll go for broke because I've got really nothing else that I can kind of do. So I'll try to hit her again, although okay. I probably swing won't. Back. Uh, you try 20? to hit her again, but you kind of, it's a really heavy weapon and you just kind of don't quite get the the angle right when you swing the second time. Okay, well, I tried. At least you got one hit on. You did. Piper. So seeing her mentor in peril, uh, Piper begins to rage and her eyes turn glowing red and she wields her great ax. Oh, uh, I also need a will save. Sorry, I need a will save from TikTok oh, and Piper yeah, right. for the scary dragon. And then we'll be done with those. Ooh. Rolled an 18 for a 29. <laughs> uh, a 29 I suppose I can succeed. use another hero point. <laughs> it's a separate check, one. so yes. It's a separate yep, so one. I, uh, I'm going to re-roll mine. You're one of those very lucky succeed. sods You're that have hero one. points. Well, I'm out now. I just burned two in one round. 23? Uh, 23 will succeed on the nose, so you are Yay. just going to be, you're just frightened one. The one cool. would not have mattered. You would have hit regardless, so. That's Yay! Okay. All right. Sorry, isn't, Piper, you rage. Isn't there a way to, like, drag the rage over, like, to just make it? Rage. Yeah, if you click the thing and put it in the chat, you should be able to drag it. That's what I. You might also do. have an action. I don't know if you have it under the actions tab to enable rage. Mm, let's not that I see. Okay. Oh, wait, on. wait, 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 wait. Yes. Oh, what did that do? Hold on. I got it. I'm going to pull it onto you. Rage. It just it just kept coming up with a weird text. Uh, I now have three rages on there, but it still didn't <laughs> want me to drag it over. Like, Ooh, it just says rage. no. <laughs> much, much rage. I, did it work? I don't know. <laughs> you know, technology is just the best. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I put it in the chat, if nothing else. Okay, but now what? <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're raging. Now you're raging. Okay, so now <laughs> I don't have to do anything else? Like, that's it? I okay. should. I don't know if it's going to adjust your character, but oh, well. I think it did. Oh, well. Striking while Once raging. Again, what gets edited out of the podcast? Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, well, you critically hit the dragon in. Yeah. Go ahead and roll your damage. Crit. So you, uh, you had to move, right? Or do you have reach with that great sword? Oh, no, I think I did need to move. I think I forgot to say it. Uh, cause I don't think I have you reach. Could have well, cause you rage move and attack, so. Yeah, I would have stepped up. Forward. Well, you are slowed, so you only get two actions this round. Oh. But is rage a free action? No. Nope. Nah, not a single action. You could choose not to rage yet and just strike. Oh. Or you could rage and not strike and move. But then I don't get all my stuff. Just don't rage and, you know. Okay. I don't I know if the bonus rage. is actually being added anyway. <laughs> I don't I don't know. We'll figure this out look later. Like it. It I don't think look it, like it did. So no, I don't think it did. You what rage, I did was still good. <laughs> yeah, you stepped forward. You swung at the dragon. You critically hit the dragon. The dragon looks down at you and claws out at you. Um, as its reaction, its reaction, violent retort. You have critically oh no. hit it. Therefore, it will hit you back. Ooh. If, eh, is it precision damage by any chance? It is not. <laughs> <laughs> will a 23 hit you? Uh, yes. All right. She, uh, she slashes into you with a claw, attempting to rip open your stuffed belly. The 17 points of damage. Dang it. I thought I had something to help. Sorry. How much? 17. Ow. Ouch. Yikes. All right. Magni is... Maybe you don't feel any effects at all for you. You're just not here right now. Um, and when you come back, it will be as though you never left. 
Which is going to be awkward because I think that Piper is now in your space. <laughs> I'm just swirling off through this blue swirly void. Yes. Uh, Kirinsura is very unhappy. Um, she looks down at TikTok and Piper and will do a draconic frenzy beginning to strike out, essentially getting her Great. two strikes. Um, <laughs> so let's, she starts by trying to bite the stuffed animal. No. The chubbles. A, a not, 32. I, I don't know if I'm an animal. I'm just kind of a, a thing. The little stuffed friend. <laughs> a 32, I believe. You're a, little, you're a little Jawa. See, Rick should pull up. I think the Chubbles is on the shelf above him so that everyone can see what a Chubbles really is. I think is. Jess <laughs> desperately wants to know if she just critical you. Did I critical oh. you? Uh, <laughs> is Rachel's that, like, if, if I ignore this 10, long enough. Is that yes. a critical? It's yeah, 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 yes. 10 or more, yeah. All yeah. right, Kedinsara bites into you for just so much damage. Uh, 38 Ooh. damage. Wow. Um, There's fluff D8, everywhere. And a D8 of electricity. Points. So ah. seven electricity. Wow. And then, because she has more attacks, uh, she will go ahead and claw out at TikTok because you hurt her. She's mad at you. Yeah, you know. A thirty to hit click clock. Click clock. Uh, yes, but that is thankfully not a critical. So Did there's at least that. Click clock. I said click clock. I don't know. <laughs> TikTok. I don't know, man. Yeah, it wasn't a critical at least. So. All right, she uh she claws out at TikTok for fourteen Ow. scraping along your little wind up body. My little body. I'll dismantle all of you. Oh, and she gets one more. Uh, she'll claw again over at Piper because of course she will. Um, twenty two. Yeah. Hit. All right, she Yikes. hits Piper. Um. So how much until I'm dead? You are you now dying zero. one. <laughs> I'm yep. dying one. Yes. Uh, and everyone has another critical. hit point. Somebody donated and gave everyone hit hero points. Hero points. Hero Thank points. you Yay. so much. You will be able to use Thank hero points you. to uh, stabilize, awesome. etc. Yeah. All right, and that is uh, two of her actions. She has one more. With her last action, she will move back. At the end of her turn, I've got to move you a little bit because I've got to get to Magni. Magni becomes visible, but because that space is occupied, gets shunted, which does some damajo. Ooh. Um, you were only pushed five feet, so it only does a d6 of damage just from the impact, essentially. Ooh. So four points of damage as you get shunted into the the, the space right next to uh, the unconscious and dying Piper. Ow. Oh. Oh. Oh, I All seem right. to have missed something. Sorry, I, I blacked out for a second there. <laughs> That's a lot of status <laughs> effects. <laughs> well, dying one. <laughs> <sighs> On the bright side, you're no longer frightened. <laughs> um, on the not sad side, it is uh, Hanalore's turn. Did I did my frighten go down from two to one at the end of my last turn? Yes, it should have. Okay, it I think still I looks saw like it go down one. Mm, it, it should be one this time. Okay. Oh. It says okay. two in my in like up in the yeah. It says it. two there in the go. chat. I got it. Yeah. I fixed it. Um. Hanalore is going to uh, bravely um, go ahead and run up uh, run up the stairs and over till she's adjacent next to to Piper and will pull out uh, pull out that healing potion, that lesser healing potion. Yay. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice, um, awesome. And that is uh, let's see, 2d8 plus 5 hit points. So that I will be rolling for um Piper. Piper. Twelve nice. hit points back to Piper. Kill. Um so that's <laughs> move, uh move interact to draw and interact to, to feed. So that's all three of my actions. Okay. 
All right, so Piper's back up. You are prone and flat-footed, and you have the wounded one condition, but you are alive. So what is the, what does the wounded do for me? What does that Just mean? matters if you keep going down. So you don't want to yo-yo oh, in this oh, game. Oh crap! I I accidentally. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, tick tock. <laughs> they told me there was no way that explosions could heal people, but they were wrong. I used searing restoration on Piper. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, stuff a bunch of like. I don't know, like fluff and like uh, little bits of cloth and some needles in there and whap her with my <laughs> axe and deal 3D 10 of healing. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, I don't know, but I love I it. I love this. I love it. You get 19 back. <laughs> I have to roll a flat check to see whether my, my thing explodes on me. Uh, Thirteen, so that is not a uh, a failure, but it means that I will never I will not be able to use that, uh, unstable actions anymore. So I can't use any of my like explosive leaps or anything like that. Mm. Mm. Uh, but I can use Megaton Strike, so I'm gonna strike this dragon. Is it only one action to do that heal? <laughs> it is one action to do that wow. heal. It's amazing. Wow. It's, it's the thing where like you can you can't use it for a minute if you fail or crit fail. So oh, okay. Um, basically, if I could make that seventeen, I could keep doing unstable actions. But this basically means like it's kind of broken until I like tweak it and fix it. That's cool. Mm. It's amazing. Steering restoration, one of my favorite things on the inventor list. I'm gonna hit this dragon. Twenty three to hit the dragon. Twenty three does not hit the dragon. Hero point. <laughs> I'm gonna hit that dragon. <laughs> I want this dragon. <laughs> yeah! Ooh. Wow! Victory! <laughs> you hit the dragon. You leave into the dragon. This dragon. Oh yes. Yes. Fifty-two oh, non-lethal go. points of killing. <laughs> <laughs> My. I put her on the snoot. <laughs> I will point out that I don't think you can do non-lethal points of killing <laughs> in second well, edition, you know at least. It's basically like the rocket goes, but it just makes like a little like beep, <laughs> like squeaky sound <laughs> or something. I don't know. You knock the dragon in the head with your non-lethal yes. rocket axe. Yes. And she collapses with a loud thud that shakes the whole place, though nothing falls. TikTok just like goes like, Puts his hand with his, with his great axe up in the air. It's like, cool. <laughs> I can just stretch his hand down towards Piper. Good game. Wow. <laughs> y'all are mighty strong, y'all big <clears throat> folks. Oh, you did quite well for yourself there. Well, you, how do you know? You weren't even here to see it. <laughs> I, I just inferred. Oh, well, well, thank you. I appreciate the compliment anyway. Grab her. <laughs> Oh, yes, uh, my lady, I think we should probably go before the dragon wakes back up again. No, 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 we have to fix the clock. No, no oh, well, but you, you already tried to fix it, and, and you made it worse, and things are frozen already. outside. Oh, well, she no. made it worse without us here. Yeah, you're here. You can help. Yes, yes. It seems like a bad idea. I'd like to help. I think we All can right. fix it. I right, figure, I figure Piper is just like picking up fluff all the off the ground and just <laughs> stuffing it back in. I'm still only at 31 hit points. Oh, Piper. Uh, I can start healing you up because I actually have medicine <laughs> and a healer's tools. <laughs> I wish right. to lift heavy things to uh, to fix this. I also have medicine if you uh, need me to take that and some healer's tools. I've got, I've a, got 10. a plus. I've got also plus 10, so we're fine. Okay, so yeah. I mean, if you want to do that, I'll, I can start trying to make the craft checks to fix the time uh, bubble yeah your craft maybe. would maybe be more useful and just i do have a hero point so oh yeah you <laughs> got that too that's a good point so. ah, point all right so we all get to work so go ahead and let's get everybody's checks for whatever it is that they are doing magni does a great job of, of patching up so that's a critical fiber. success so bounce those 48 Woo! helps stuff all that uh stuffing back in there <laughs> And sews everything. They talk back like up. passes uh, the the needle and thread. <laughs> well, if you look at my art, I actually wear a little needle around my neck, just in case. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Twenty two points. Woo. It comes out of a spool out of uh, TikTok's uh, <laughs> chest cavity. There's a little spool yeah. of it. <laughs> it's kind of like um, there's like a tumbler or something where somebody sends them like old stuffed animals and then they repair them and bring them back to life. Hmm. That's yeah, what I'm imagining. Yeah, so we're going to be tied uh, up doing that for the next 10 minutes, though. Yep, so 10 am, minutes, am I, 
Am I still wounded then, or am I unwounded? You're wounded till you hit full hit points again. No, no, uh, but you're oh. fine. No, no, it, uh, yeah. Okay. All right, so you're you're feeling much better. Um, so let's get that crafting check from anybody doing crafting or thievery. Crafting. If you're gonna get in there and do thievery stuff, I'm crafting. 19. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> hero point. I have no more hero points. Oh, uh, I've been burning just, through uh, hero yeah. points. We're, we're gonna break I'm time, gonna, y'all. <laughs> gonna use my my hero point on that. All right. So. Oh, should my frighten be gone? That'll be. Oh uh, yeah, your frighten 26. should definitely be gone. The dragon is not awake. So Still scared of the unconscious dragon. All right, Hanalor uh, is actually very helpful. TikTok is less so. Less so. You're not making things worse. You're just not really helping. He's still I mean, doing his victory lap after bringing the dragon down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> Who knew? All right. Let's see how it ends up using crafting. <laughs> oh no! But um, I have a villain point, which I can yeah. use on my NPCs. <laughs> please use it. <laughs> yes, please villain point that. Even though I don't think. Endo's I mean, the if villain. we break this, we really are the villains. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> no. Again. Fate has intervened. Wow. All right. Well, I'm just going to point we're... out that Piper thought this was a bad idea. As it was foretold. I foretold More villain you so. points, please. Um, yeah, so it is not fixed. Uh, in fact, Enda starts to get old a lot faster. Um, oh, no. Like, scarily um, fast. And the clock um, can start moving really, really quickly. Uh, and she kind of, like, scratches her head and is like, uh-oh. Um, uh, let's try something else. Quickly, quickly. If you're aiding, roll your aids. How do we aid? Just, just uh crafting it, athletics has it been 10 minutes things. can we jump back in oh, okay yeah you can jump it took definitely 10 minutes the first athletics time. all right well okay. i don't i jump don't in. aid oh oh now there's one aid oh no i'm gonna i'm gonna hero point that because no no <laughs> <laughs> Right, so you one. give her a minus How one. Quickly, yep. the dice turn. Magni on gives us. a plus one, so it's a net uh, a net zero. All right, let's see how. Oh, okay, much better, much better. Yeah. All right, and uh, realizes she put a, a gear on backward, and it was rotating the wrong way, and she kind of flips it around. You help. Um, Piper accidentally breaks a little little screw, but thankfully she has an extra in her kit. And, <laughs> um, you get the clock kind of put back together, and it seems to be ticking again which is nice. Um, and it seems to be taking the correct direction and it seems to be, you know, all very chill. And it kind of looks at it, thinks about potentially using it for something, but then shrugs and uh, says, all right, we're done. We fixed this. So now we can go find something new to fix. Where do you want to head next? Somewhere Away with from here. Piece. No more dragons. Clockworks, please. I, I think every all, all the other puppets back in the uh, the workshop would be very happy to see you as well. So I think maybe we go back home and uh, fix me. Have a have a nice cup of oh yes, and put her stuffing back in because it's oh oh Piper. She walks over and kind of picks Piper up. I'm just assuming Piper is a little light because you're. Yeah, I think I only put myself at like 10 pounds, but that's probably overshooting it. uh, Yeah, you're probably like five, maybe. (laughs) You literally cannot build up to terminal velocity. Yeah, Yeah, so I'm probably closer to like, what, three pounds, maybe? With my sword, I'm probably five. Awesome. So she picks you up. You all head back downstairs. Um, As soon as you head like out of the door from this area, you notice that the door warden um puts itself back where it was and you notice that the uh the key and the doorknob are missing uh as you head back down to the second floor you notice that the key and the doorknob are back on the statues somehow Hmm. um but otherwise you know everything seems nice do you take the mirror with you no we should put it back yeah but if we put it back like uh won't that potentially cause someone else to break time Maybe we keep it. I'm just concerned when that dragon wakes up if uh, if everything is not put back just right. Do 
Just leave the, the thought. Yeah, leave. I say leave. We leave it. it. Yeah, we leave the mirror. All right, you leave the mirror. Ha- you head back. Hanalor, Hanalor will make a thievery check to try and take it without anyone noticing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blind or? Uh, ah, it doesn't have to be blind. Everybody, uh, you know your own perception DCs. 24. Anybody not have a 24 perception DC? Uh, where do we uh, find I your don't. perception It's your DC. perception plus 10. Yeah, I don't. Oh, tw- uh, class DC 21. So, no. Not unless nope. we're rolling for it. <laughs> mm. nope, for right. Hannah Laura pockets that mirror, which is the same size as she is. Oh, you know what? You put it in Fluffy's Fluff. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's going to yes. check the dog? Exactly. Dogs are inherently trustworthy. Yep. Sure. Even mechanical dogs. Yes. So, you now have a magical mirror that the rest of the group has no idea you have. Uh, you leave. Uh, the island is still kind of hot and not pleasant, but now there's a slight breeze. The waves are crashing, so you can hear the sound of that. Gulls are cawing above mm. and flying instead of just staying there in stasis. And you are able to return home mostly intact. And that is the end of our adventure. Yay! I think I think Get we it. got through it quick because we had so many friggin' twenties today. <laughs> My lord, y'all! Like, yeah. Ah! Oh, don't do that. It lags up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rick likes the confetti too much. I like oh, the no. confetti. There's a reason why I removed that mod. Whatever I'm writing. <laughs> <laughs> confetti, oh, yes. no. <laughs> oh man. Goodness. Well, yeah. So that is the uh, the end. Yeah. We are a little bit early, ten minutes or so yeah. early, but. If you haven't mm. already, please consider making a donation to Jasper's Absolutely. Game Day. Um, working to prevent suicide, which of course mental health is a huge issue that we, you know, all need to take care of each other on. Absolutely. And this is yeah. one way to do it. Yep. Yeah. Mental Spending time with important. your friends and you know, uh, going out and slaying slaying monsters, or in this case, bludgeoning them to unconsciousness. But whatever you want to do. I tried my best to kill him, you know. I don't know. <laughs> it's PG thirteen, so there's no I there was no blood. I didn't even get to rage. Nope. I know that was so, funny. <laughs> that was so sad. To be fair, you're doing a pretty good amount of damage without rage. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's true. I've learned I need to just put twice as many monsters because apparently in specials you're gonna get all twenties all the time. Having yeah. so many hero points really helps with that. Yeah. Yes, thanks to everyone for the hero points. They definitely Absolutely. came handy, except for the time I rolled a one with it. But <laughs> for the most part, they were really helpful. <laughs> All right. So I guess, you know, signing off, um, I'm once again, Jessica Jenkins with Find the Path. I am joined by Rick, Jordan, and Rachel, also from Find the Path, as yep. well as Heidi from... Fantastic worlds, technically far beyond the stars. Uh, you can find more information about our shows, our various shows on our website, find-path.com or on our Discord. Uh, Heidi, how do we learn stuff about far beyond the stars? Uh, so if you want to check out far beyond the stars, we have a Twitter, uh, that's at fantastic pods. Uh, you can also check out our discord, which you can access through our website, which, um, I'm gonna have to gonna have to say I want to say it's fantasticpods.com, but it might be fantasticworldspod.com. Um, I don't know that off the top of my head. Um, mm-hmm. You can also look us if you wanna if you wanna just straight up listen to Far Beyond the Stars or Fantastic Worlds, or um, and if you like those, we also have a Patreon mm-hmm. doing a Greatest Show on Earth, which is a two e production of Extinction Curse. Um, for six dollar and up patrons but uh you can check us out on spotify apple podcasts podcast addict any uh, pretty much anywhere uh that you want so all the podcast places yep. yes looks like that's at uh fantastic worlds pod.com backslash far dash beyond stash the stash dash stars <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of dashes backslash <laughs> thank you <laughs> and if you liked this adventure i am posting it for free on our find the path patreon so patreon.com slash find the path um for anyone so it's just free you can get the pdf yep. version of it you can run it awesome. for your friends if you want to have your own session of puppets to the rescue and if you want to see my 
custom crafted time dragon because that's not in second edition yet. Um, the stats are there. So hey. is it actually called Poppets to the Rescue? Is that what you titled it? Yep, Poppets to the Rescue. It will post nice. at nine oh one um, uh, Central Time. Central. So in yep. eleven minutes. Nice. Awesome. Mm-hmm. So yeah, go ahead and uh, go out there, run that through, go on uh, on the social medias, and let everyone know how phenomenally a job Jessica did with the designing and uh, yeah. And all the and the balance of this, and let us know if your players roll amazing and uh, and happen to like. Less than <laughs> How one well round do they do when they're out. not drowning in hero points? <laughs> yes. That's really the question. Yes. <laughs> Did any of and your of puppets course. lose their fluff? And most importantly, <laughs> donate to Jasper's game day. Yes, Absolutely. donate, Definitely. donate to Jasper's game day. All right, I'm really so curious we're where we're at here. right now because I think it's oh, yeah, uh, 20, 23k I, I was wonder. where we were just earlier. Uh, so if I pull up the Discord right now, we are at uh, 27, or sorry, the, yeah. the Twitch stream because I have been actually awesome. pulling it up here. Uh, 2700 and some change. Wow, that's great. Awesome. That is not Thank bad at all, y'all. For your yes. generosity and for supporting such a good cause. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, well, we're going to call it here. Um, good luck out there and hopefully you tune in to the rest of the games that are part of rolling in the new year and you know yep. what guys have a happy new year happy new year happy new year have a gentle new year everybody <laughs> 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 <laughs>